<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live. Welcome to Internet. Huzzah. Back to another episode of Emray, my homebrew Dungeons and Dragons world. Um, when we last met our party, they were um, recovering from having almost been killed by a powerful dwarven alchemist mage that they decided <laughs> to try to murder in his own home. Um, but oh, good reasons. <laughs> for for reasons. And, uh, <laughs> the wall started swinging, and uh, we just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than murder the party, which he was fully capable of doing, uh, Sturgis, who's not a big violent guy, decided instead to sort of blackmail them um, by putting all of their important items in collateral and um, employing them to. Uh, find a way to get into one of the Uralite temples and procure the remaining pieces of the um, uh, spell that he needs, the alchemical transmutation, to, so that he can drain the swamp. Um, so uh, we made some narrative changes. If you watched last episode, which had no audio, so none of this is going to even matter to you who did watch it, um, because I had the desktop device muted so nobody could hear anybody talk. Um... <laughs> But you could have watched the game, and nothing's more exciting than watching people play D&D silently. A nice lip-reading <laughs> exercise for the masses. In any case, um, what Sturgis did tell the party is that um, there is a no notorious group of guides that are often known to sell their services to protect um, excursions that... Uh, take themselves out into the Uralabin forest and uh, look into the um, the temple ruins. Wallace is saying, oh yeah, Jeff's not actually in game. So our, our elf friend is not yet in Roll20, but that's okay. We're just going through some narrative stuff. I'm trying. It's very slow to connect. He's also not an elf. I don't know why I called him an elf. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, he's just, he's always been an elf my whole life. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Sturgis has explained to you that this group known as the Wild Men um, are kind of secretive. Most people don't actually know who they are, what they look like, but they do know anyone who's claimed to have de dealt with them will tell you that you need to seek out the gnome. Um, Sturgis says his name is uh, something to the effect of uh, um, Rolo or Volfo or something like that. Um, he kind of acts as the spokesperson and foreman of this group. Uh, and everybody who is trying to get safe passage into the depths of the Uralabin forest towards the swamp will often seek the assistance of these infamous, notorious guides. Um, Sturgis has given you no specific instructions as to how to get into the temple. Um, so that's kind of up to you guys to figure out. Um, but the only lead he gave you is that um, word has it that... Sveth, the uh, innkeeper at the uh, Sawtooth Inn, is kind of good friends with the gnome, whoever his name is. Uh, it might be a decent lead if you're trying to get information about the group, where to find them, etc. <coughs> um, with that, he procures for you your clothing and um, simple weapons to suit your needs. Uh, he maintains your magical items, the, the ring that you had. Uh, and he holds on to all of your wealth, um, but he does provide for you um, a healing, oh, a, a minor health potion each. So you each can add to your inventory one uh, minor health potion. For those who don't know, it's 1d8 plus 4 health. Um, for those of you who use ranged weapons, uh, cool. he gives you 20 pieces of ammunition. <clears throat> we can keep so not the usual 40 that I carry. You have 20 pieces of ammunition. All right, so I do have chainmail, a longsword, a shield. Yeah, you have your standard stuff. Stuff to do your job is what he said to you. So, <clears throat> okay. if you're if you're a fighter, then you have your armor and weapons. If you're a caster, you have whatever spell components you need. But any wealth, any special items, um, you you won't have with you. Can I? Uh, okay. Do I add the potion via compendium or just kind of remember? Um. I don't know if the compendium has healing potion. I literally just threw it. I just put. But you plus can just in my type it and just typed it in. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. So it's Wild Men, and Seth is the person at the is the bar. Seth. The... 
Yes. Oh, Sveth. Oh, that's right. You sent that. S- <laughs> not quote Sveth. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, what's you got to put your what's... nods in there when you can. Oh, I hear you. What's the name of the establishment? Uh, it is It is still and has been the Sawtooth. Oh, yes. I don't know why my notes have disappeared. But okay. Oh, maybe because they were in Wall 20? Is that why? Okay. So at the moment you are um, still in the uh, the study, which I believe is what you should see. Uh, we're in the where he gave us beer. Yeah, that's part of the that whole map is in the study. Got it. Hey, wait, Hi. no. <clears throat> so yeah, so um, still we're waiting for Jeff to join the game. Jeff, here. you have an issue with roll twenty? I yes, I thought you heard me say it's like the fourth time I said that. What, what, is, is, still? what is happening? It, it it appears to be a, some kind of disconnect. Um, it's taking forever to log in. It, what browser are you call. using? Firefox. I've already cleared my history and everything. And do you have Chrome out. on the machine? I've I've always had good experience with Roll Twenty and Chrome. That's what I'm using. I'm on Firefox. Well, I'm, I'm not saying Firefox will not work. I'm saying, in my experience, Chrome has worked well. I'm seeing the same kind of timing out issue. Like, it should have already loaded up by now. Hmm. And it's timing out on Chrome as well. Well, that's really stinky. The plus side is there's not a lot we need the map specifically for at the start of the game. Um, well, it's character of, sheet and... Yeah, but it's generally a lot of role play and travel for now. Um, if we get to a point where we need to visually see stuff and make rolls, I'll uh, we'll figure that out. I have a an exact copy of my character sheet, so I know what I can do, and then you can just make the rolls. For sure. Me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Oh. All right. We can make Wise. it work. We can make it work. Designers, make it work. So anyway, um, yeah, so proceed. The floor is yours, gentlemen. So we are still by, still near the dwarf down in the basement. Right? Yeah, you're, you're, we're picking up where yes. we left off in the last half session that we did. You are, is, is he there by any chance? Yeah, you're, he's in, he's, you guys just shared a beer for that he, yeah, he just handed us a beer as you recall, that he teleported in from his private stock. That's right. <laughs> Uh, do we have our stuff yet, or is that that he say you will? Yeah. So this? as he's as he's telling you about the wild men and saying he's going to provide for you a health potion, one of the flying modrons comes over and pro- produces little arms holding the potions, which he hands out to all of you. Um, another one comes by with a little pallet with quivers, with the arrows or bolts, whatever you need. Um, another one rolls in on tracks, and he's got your suit of chain mail hanging on it. Like a mobile drawing oh. rack. Well, that's, well, that's convenient. <laughs> it's like Star Wars droids, but D and D. Oh, see, I was I was thinking another one rolls in, passing the butter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all right, so I get all my stuff. I'm kind of looking things over and um, head. Quick, out of character. Have we seen the ring make its way back to Vern yet, or did we simply? You, see you saw it? him um, provide. Remember, he transformed the transformed Modron, the Modron into Modron. the ugly gnome. That's right, and then that thing took off. To and that, that thing said like, and he left. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they have a really hard time synthesizing common speech. <laughs> Well, Sturgis, it seems you're a dwarf of many talents, of course. Um, the least of which being freezing out pesky adventurers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't typically enjoy unwanted guests in my home. Of course, but clearly you're prepared for such an occasion, as, as we seemingly pose no threat to you whatsoever. Remember really? that. Yes. Um, so to that end, uh, I noticed that with these, um, everything you've furnished us with right here, um, I'm missing about half the usual quiver of bolts that I'm accustomed to working with. And 
if you want me at 100% capacity out there figuring all of this ancient history stuff out, you think you what, can bring me the other 20? What's your, um, what's your persuasion bonus? Oh, it's very good. Plus nine. <clears throat> well, you rolled a two, but you still passed the DC 10 check, and uh, and he says, well, I guess that makes a certain amount of sense. If you're going to shoot me in the back, whether you have 20 or 40 won't make much of a difference. Uh, very well, then. He claps his hands, and the thing goes, <laughs> comes back, and you can get 40 bolts. I don't know why the mod runs. That just made me think, like, all of the mod runs talk like... And then insert, like, movie, you know, like, Hollywood, like, lock and load. <laughs> <Sound effect. laughs> nice. I like it. Gentlemen, <laughs> let's get, let's roll. <laughs> all right. All right, fingers. That, that seems not entirely unnecessary, but all right, we can start walking. <clears throat> hey, bro, you need ammo. Gotta have ammo. Jin gets it. Jin does yeah, it. Ideally, we, ideally, we would not have to resort to violence, gentlemen. Well, you I see, Mike, I just got this really cool new feat called Sharpshooter, and that's all I can think of. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so before we get into the um, mechanics of you guys traveling off to the Sawtooth, uh, let's take a step out of character, and you guys tell me what... I mean, you can talk amongst yourselves to make the decisions, but I want you to collectively um, explain to me, the DM, what your intentions are in terms of what your next steps are. All right, so to review, we need to Let's figure out your plan. Find, hold on, this is why I write stuff down. We need to find Sveth at the Sawtooth. Um, Sveth is a, do you know, Sveth is a person, human, uh, gnome, dwarf, do we know? Did you Did ask, ask Sturgis this before you left? Uh, I probably would have. <laughs> Let's say yes. <clears throat> He is very investigatory, if that's even Yeah, he, he's, he is human. Okay. Seth the human. <clears throat> All right, so we know that Seth the human who runs, or is the bartender at the Sawtooth, will know... In fact, know... I'll, I'll go so far... Well, hey, Mike, why don't you roll an investigation check, and I'll give you information depending on what you roll. That is something that I like doing. Let's do that. Okay. I know though that wow that was slow. <clears throat> yeah, I think part of that is because I have so many maps <laughs> that yeah, right. the Roll Twenty game is just slow, which may even be why Jeff is having trouble logging in. I may have to go in and delete a bunch of pages that we don't need anymore, hoping, <laughs> uh, assuming we never go back to those locations. <laughs> but um... <clears throat> hmm, how do I share uh, okay. this with so, one yeah. player? Oh, there we go. So, Mike, I'm going to give you this. I feel so special. <clears throat> you should see in your notable people, places, objects under the sawtooth a thing for Sveth. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, <clears throat> so he's Sveth Jerkson, and he's been in charge of that inn for a long time, and he's stereotypical for a barkeep who has information. Okay, cool. Jerkson? Jerkson. Oh, I thought it was J-E-R-K. It's, like, it's, it's actually, uh, and as you guys have this conversation, <laughs> the dwarf pops his head and goes, um, it's actually pronounced Jerkson. Jerkson. <laughs> 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 Yeah, thanks, Flosty. I'm sure that'll come up. <laughs> and then he, and then he disappears. Yeah. <laughs> what are the names of his uh, his constructs again? The, the... the Modron? Modrons. The Modron. Modron. We Modern. should have a token Modron that just hovers kind of like a drone just out of sight. And if we say something like that, he pops in. He's your Navi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> It's some combination between Navi and like. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, listen. <laughs> you need to do codec conversations like Middle Gear Solid through the Modern. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, good, good lord. Okay. Um, so, again, where was I? <clears throat> so, we need to find Sveth Yixen 
to point us toward the three wild men, one of whom we know is a gnome, to basically take their place so that we can then guide the uh, student <clears throat> the the student group that's doing basically a tour of the relics. Um, okay. Oh, and the I idea just, is that... I want to I just want to retcon mm -hmm. because I don't want to steamroll you guys' decision making. Okay. Um, I know in the last session, Sturgis told you replace a million times. In reality, that's not a, necess a necessity. That could be how you do it, but all he really cares is that you you, you get into the temple, and these guides will be able to do that. So uh, okay. you know, you yeah, know that there is an, there's an archaeological dig going to meet the guides, and that's a way that you can kind of intercept whether you want to supplant them, join them, or whatever, that's up to you guys. Oh, okay. That does change things. I know. I, I realize it's a little different from what I said last time, but I spent <clears> some time actually fleshing out the story and the, and the, and the group and whatever, and I thought that, that would make... I didn't want to steamroll you guys into a decision. You okay. may still choose to replace them, but I want that to be because that's what you want to do. Okay. And the idea is that the Wildmen can get them to the general vicinity of where the ruins are, but then the actual... Yeah. Um, if you guys, if you guys were, get... if you guys were to do nothing, what you know is that an archaeological dig from the university is meeting the wild men at the Sawtooth, to then proceed on into the temple that Sturgis believes is the temple that has the things in it that you need. And we have that list. And you, you know the things you need. Did he write them down? I, I did not, but he did. Okay. <clears throat> You know what they Wallace, are. Wallace has a list, or at least yeah. Wallace knows. Okay. The GM does not have a list, but you, <clears throat> you, the, you, the characters know what they are. You, the players, currently do not. <laughs> okay. So the idea is we want to get into this place before it gets scoured by the archaeological team, right? Or just take stuff without them noticing. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I would. I would say let's head over to the, uh, to the place where the uh, the barkeeper is there asking questions and i say we join the team i don't think we should try to supplant anybody uh it's setting ourselves up for a bit of failure i appreciate you i, <clears throat> I appreciate your perspective uh, on this there sparkles i admire that we are not immediately resorting to violence yeah we don't want any more you know, well, i could kick ass left and right but you know let's just see what we can do yeah, violence could probably make this just go south faster than it could uh, work in our favors. Besides, it's not like I know anything about the swamp, whereas these wildmen do. So, um, are we? Is, is the clothes that he gave us? Is it our own clothes, or is it like? Yeah, it's your own. You're not like dressed okay. like anyone different. You guys are you guys. <clears throat> Got it. Okay. Oh, hi, Lauren. <laughs> Jim says hi, Lauren. <laughs> Uh, all right, sparkles, fingers. Any well, other we'll things there. to discuss, or just let's go? Start walking. We can talk on the way. How are we getting there? Are we walking? Are we uh, are we taking a cart? We got horses. What do we got? I mean, we there. We are. Uh, if I recall correctly, we are uh, a week out. Are we still have our horses. Calm and steady. So yeah, if we look at the bandit map. I'll just show that to everyone right now. You guys are currently at the <laughs> bottom right X, and you're headed to the upper left X, which is only a couple days away. <clears throat> All right, bro. Bottom right to upper left, we're crossing the road. Yeah, you're Probably. going. You're going northwest across the road. Well, if memory serves, there was a path that led off. The main road to the bottom right X. Yeah, so you'd you'd go slightly southwest along the path, then north along the road, and then <laughs> assumedly west from there. If you were gonna follow roads, we have we uh, we got no reason to not follow the road, right? I mean, uh, we don't have anything of particular value on us. Nah, we we yeah, we follow the roads. We're fine. Yeah. I'm sure the cot's gone, but we can right. we can whiff it. Mm. I, the, the, Jim, do, do our characters know the size of these items that we're looking to recover? I mean, are we talking like little trinkets? Or are we talking like 
large items where we might need a cart. So they are a small book. They are a um, a relic of sorts. Uh, they're they're three handheld sized things. Okay, things that we can carry on our person. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> but it's it's a small book, a relic, and there is some instruction in an engraving that you'll need to copy down, remember, or some or somehow reproduce. Hmm. Okay. Um, I would like to leave in the morning. I don't know what time of day it is outside. <clears throat> um, we can make it morning if you like. Yeah. Okay. Hey, uh, Flosty, can you make it morning? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not quite what I meant. <laughs> I mean, like we can we can just wait until spell, morning just before like, you just leave. Hey, Sorry, I've been... <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching a lot of I've been watching a lot of My Little Pony lately, and uh, there are two <laughs> alicorns which are basically just control when the sun comes up and when the moon comes up at night. Like, basically just control when day and night is. So I'm just like, oh yeah, just like switch the day and night for us. Thanks. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll say we'll say it's the morning of Gilam. Well done. I'm sure we have access to a calendar somewhere. It's like Monday. Monday the 20th. Thank you. Gilam the 20th. <clears throat> I feel like I need to print out this calendar and like put it over my computer. So we're like, what is it? <laughs> moon phases. <laughs> So we're we're huffing it. We start walking. Unless you anyone of you has got questions, is there anything else you want to? Pick, are you we know? on foot or we do we have the cart? Um. Oh, well, I'm confident that the Elysium peoples took the cart back. The Elysium. A loop in it. A loop in <laughs> the fields <laughs> of hell. Oh, yeah. from <laughs> Is your name Maximus Decimus? <laughs> you find um, yourself in a field. Yeah, so you, you, you leave the temple ruins, you make your way out into where the cart was to the start of the path, and there is no cart. Hmm. Guess we're walking. Alrighty. Alright, so two days walk, we'll make it a four success skill challenge. Um, so we need four successes before three failures. You guys are familiar with the process. We will start with... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch a target by the toe. We'll start with Jin. Okay. Um, so I would say uh, if we come across anybody on the road, um, I would uh, get them to stay away from us by being my general dragonborn self and be like, yo, back off, stay away. Sparkles. What? 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 Why? I'm trying to be... intimidate people from staying away from us. Well, and you're bringing attention upon us by doing that, man. Why can you Wallace, just... this is his skill challenge. <laughs> and I'm, I'm role playing with him while he does that. But let me put it this way: this guy... he can he can do that, and then like as they leave, like like after he's intimidated people successfully or not, I'd be like, "What, Sparkles? What are you doing? Sorry." It actually it, it works out really well. He intimidate, and then I can persuade them that he didn't just intimidate them. All right, well, let's get through one skill challenge first. <laughs> this, this is a three-person party, and we are constantly undermining each other. I just got to be a tough guy. I got to be a tough guy. So are, I assume that means you're using Intimidate? Yeah. All right, so in order to intimidate the people away without drawing too much attention, it's going to be a higher DC, so mm -hmm. it'll be a DC 16. Ooh. Ooh. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so you know, you you guys meet a lot of people along the road because it's morning and it's a common road, and everyone you meet, Jin is just going up to him and be like, "You want a beef? You want a beef? Keep on stepping." <laughs> and you know, people are giving you sideways glances, and like as they walk by, they're whispering to each other, and yeah, so that's one. It's one failure. You're definitely drawing more attention than you would have by just ignoring them. Oh, do you mind calling the rolls? Oh, he rolled a thirteen. It was DC sixteen. I'm still I'm stuck in the screen where it looks like I should be popping in game and it just it says loading. Yeah, I don't know I don't know what to tell you. Sorry. I do think it might I'm gonna start deleting pages that we don't need and see if that helps. Like we don't need the map of Emre and the Mayranian content. Those are two I can get rid of. Um Yeah, so so go ahead. Oh, who's up next? Uh, oh, sorry. Um, uh, Jeff, you're next. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on this plan, and um, in order to mitigate 
the chance that we piss someone off or I don't know, they, they go running to the guard and say, there's this really presumptuous dragonborn on the road telling us to back off when we were all the way on the other side of the road. I'm going to go to each person and persuade them afterwards that, sorry, it's been a long journey. My friend's kind of doing <laughs> adventuring thing. So he's kind of acting a little tough to show off. Because if he gets in a, you know, make up a whole story about it and just say, hey, just, you know, best of luck to you. We're, we'll be on our way. Don't even think twice about it. This is not the Dragonborn you were looking for. <laughs> okay, so trying to cover up the mistakes of uh, of Jin there. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's uh, what persuasion you're using. Yeah. Um, so I'll make the same DC since it's the same people you're interacting with. So it'd be DC sixteen. Uh, mm -hmm. What's your bonus? Plus nine. Ooh, <sighs> unfortunately, 15. they are just not buying your story, friend. <clears throat> <clears throat> and uh, again, like some of them were even about to write off everything he said, and then you come like, "Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute! Everything that guy said was bullshit." <laughs> and uh, and yeah, you, you guys are just drawing lots of attention, so that's two failures. Oh, uh, Wallace, Wallace might be able to fix this. Does the smart thing here, but if you're not good at it, doesn't yeah. matter. Um... Okay. Hell, so we have fun, fun little yes. combat. Yeah. Well, well, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see how my skills can be useful just walking down the street. Um, Arcana, do an Arcana. No, yeah, that would, or no, if I try to persuade, that would doom us for sure. Um, I'm gonna try to. Uh, after all, well, I've watching all this and just being like, what Spockle's thing is? What just, just, just. <laughs> Just keep walking. Just don't leave leave people alone. Uh, I'm gonna try to either you can tell me if this is investigation, this is perception, or even insight. I'm just gonna see if anybody starts following us. I'm trying to like keep track of the fact that like, okay, are we actually attracting enough attention? Like now there are now people like, like, just basically keep an eye behind us to see if anybody's. Keep, yeah, yeah. So to, to see if somebody's following you, that would be perception. Uh, we'll okay. Make the, we'll make the DC twelve because you're not trying to actually interact with anybody. You're just keeping. No. An eye out. <clears throat> and I rolled a 14, ladies and gents. Yeah. So, you know, you, you keep your eye out. What's up? Okay. <laughs> so you, um... <clears throat> you, uh... <laughs> you, guys, <laughs> you, guys, you guys make your way... You're gonna be you're gonna be playing the cello. <laughs> so, so yeah, you you um you keep your eye out to see if anybody's following you, and you know you notice it doesn't look like anyone has followed you as much as you've drawn a lot of attention. People people are used to weird folk uh, on the Yerlaven Road, the Forest Road. We're like Penn and Teller, me and Jin, except not very successful. So one one success, two failures, on to Jin. All right, so I guess what I'll do now is like I'm, I'm starting to kind of notice that Wallace isn't really digging what I'm doing. You know, he's not really liking what I'm doing here. So. If I notice, you mean I have blatantly told you that yes, <laughs> I finally heeded his words. I'm a little thick-headed here, so um, I'd like to be insightful and try to figure out what he's doing and, or why he wants me to stop. Is that is that fair? Um. I could do something it else. does. It doesn't really. No? Remember, okay. the skill challenge is like oh, how, how you're successfully traveling, and while that's great, that's a great role play, role play choice. It doesn't really aid in your travels. Okay, fair enough. All right, um, then. Um, I will. Jeez, oh, I don't even know. Um, I'll take a look and I'll look around and see if there's anything on the road that uh, can aid us in our travel. You know, maybe um, perhaps uh, some rope laying on the side of the road or something that could be handy later on. So you're Scav scavenging. scavenging. Scavenging for supplies since you yeah. guys were uh, undersupplied by Sturgis? Exactly. Right. Sure. Um, do you, what, what, what check are you using? Uh, I, I was going to leave it up to you. I was figuring either uh, investigation or survival. 
Yeah, let's do a DC 12 survival. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Perfect. Take that one. So, you know, you stopped intimidating everybody that you see, and instead, you know, you're looking behind cars, seeing if anything useful fell off the back of a truck. You're, um, <laughs> you're looking in the ditches to see if there's any, you know, broken camps that might have left behind some cool stuff. And Crowbars to swing your kneecaps. So, you know, what you do end up finding are a couple of empty um, castaway uh, water skins. Ooh. I will take those. And uh you also happen upon um some uh, what the heck's the word i'm looking for some cotter pins that were that would be used to like hold a wheel onto a wagon axle but they're in perfectly good shape just in case we come upon somebody who's wagon actually is you know what i let me see yeah i could use those i can i can <clears throat> So you can add two, two cotter pins and two water skins to your inventory if you like. Roger that. Now, do, 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 do we have water skins to travel with to begin with? Typically, you start with one. Yeah, I, no, I, I know, but like, yeah, I figure he'll, he would have outfitted us. He would have well, I mean, yeah, he, he knows you have to go right two days travel. He's not going to leave you with no water yeah. for two days. <laughs> okay. Okay. So everything that was originally in my inventory was on that cart. So other than combat gear, like to the pound everything bedroll and all that is all on the cart so oh well that was a decision that you made for sure <laughs> well yeah no i mean i so i'm thinking what what, what were the bare minimums he gave us because i don't know so if that, what he that. would have no idea that what was on the cart was not the bandits and it wasn't even sturgis who delivered the contents of the cart but the bandits themselves so jeff you would have very bare bones inventory. Would that impact me of taking a long or a short rest? Probably a long rest at least. Like, uh... yeah, but I, I don't think we would have left without a bedroll. I mean, you don't need a bedroll. You can hmm. you can take a long rest without a bedroll. Hmm. It's true. All right, I don't want I don't want to like log jam. I don't know what Mike like said, that. but he's muted. No, that was not intentional. Um, you could... I mean, I would just probably assume you've got a, I don't know, a water skin and like a week's worth of rations and maybe a torch because he knows we're going underground, potentially. Yeah, yep. <clears throat> you know, anything that's included in the Explorer or Adventurer's pack. Oh, okay, because I didn't... Okay. Oh, okay. That. Backpack, bedroll, component pouch. Oh. Do I... I wouldn't have my thieves tools or disguise kit, would I? No. Damn. Uh, okay. Jeff, can you try and like close out your browser and rejoin Rule Twenty now? Because I've deleted a bunch of pages. Hopefully that might help. Um. All right. So we've got two failures, <clears throat> two successes. We need one more success before two failures. No, other way around. Two more successes before one failure, and we're back to Jeff. Um, if we fail this, what does that mean? Like, there could be negative. We'll, we'll, we'll certainly maybe find out, possibly. <laughs> okay. Um, taking Jin's lead then from which is really Wallace's lead. <clears throat> Thank you. Realize this may have been a bit impetuous to. Uh, <laughs> You know, tell people that what they had just seen, they hadn't just seen. I'm going to help him as he's, sur as he's survivaling and try to make sure that we're covering our tracks and that we're not being tr followed <laughs> and taking a page out of the other session, um, kind of showing Jin how to like move in and out of the shadows at the edge of the path and, you know, how to be a little stealthier, less obvious. So sharing Jin your skills of inconspicuousness. Exactly. Using because what if skills? you remember us uh, stealth. Okay. If you remember, we tried to be all stealthy before the cart fight, and it was kind of good. But they still saw us anyway. So my thinking yeah. is, yeah. What's your, what's your stealth bonus? Uh, plus nine. 
Damn, son. <clears throat> I have expertise. You in... got a 14, so great job. Um, yeah, so you, you do that. You you explain to Jin, like, hey, man, you know, when you're walking on a path, don't walk with your shoulders out like this in the middle of the road. Maybe take to yourself to one side. Um, you know, as, as the night gets dark, because you do have Calm to down do the you do have to do an overnight, so, you know, in the nighttime, you show them how to, like, stay <clears throat> stealthily, and, and uh, you guys are able to not make too much of a scene uh, successfully. How to build a fire with some stones around it, so it Yeah, yeah, precisely. Light. Great job. Don't... Boy Scout stuff, but you already... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back to Mike. Can he bring it on home? Uh, um, are we... I mean, is it nighttime? Because I would... I don't know. I could try to do so the a survival checks. check to find this... or a nature actually a nature check to try to find a good place for us to camp yeah so the skill checks aren't really in consecutive order necessarily they're just like okay. what you did during the journey so if you want to say during the journey you used uh, nature to find a good camp that's certainly uh, an effective use of a skill check yeah let's use that All right, so we're gonna call i mean you're in the middle of the forest on a well-trodden path where lots of people often break camp, so it's not going to be hard to find camp. So we're just going to make it a DC 11. <sighs> Success. <laughs> yeah, so you guys, um, your one overnight, you were able to easily find a nice campsite. It was comfortable. You guys got a great night's rest. Um, and you successfully journey your way to the area around the Sawtooth Inn. Huzzah! You know, for two people that are trying to intentionally be inconspicuous, you are uh, incredibly good at being... Hold on. Conspicuous. You had to Listen, take my joke, Dan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. I, I, didn't know, I didn't know that was Wallace struggling. I thought that was Mike struggling. <laughs> <laughs> There may be there may be a little bit of bleeding sometimes. <laughs> no, that one was intentional, but that's all right. All good. So you guys should be on a map now on the bottom right of a very large area. Yes. Um, as you make your way to the front of, oh my god, this place is huge. Yeah. What you can only okay. assume is the Zatu Thin. Uh, well, <laughs> minus somebody to control Jim. <clears throat> What's that? Oh, or I'm sorry, Jeff. Oh, somebody to control Jeff, right? Yeah, I tried logging in again. Still no, no luck. Well, you could always watch know. the stream to at least see the map, even if you can't control the token. Do I want to? I don't know. Does rebooting the machine seem reasonable at this point? It's reasonable. We might have to I can do a it break to I get the frame. Is that going to mess up your? Yeah, once you join back in, it should re. <clears throat> Alright, so right we're gonna take a uh, quick break. Technical issues. <laughs> this stream brought to you by Boy Scouts of America for three of us. Specifically, I think it's just called Portsmouth. the Scouts now, right? Oh, it is called the Scouts. Now, yeah. <clears throat> this stream brought to you by friends that are most that are all Eagle Scouts that like to enjoy doing things very nerd like and. Eagle nerds. Find, Eagle nerds. Eagle nerds. name. I called it. <laughs> Eagle nerds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, coming to you from various corners of New England and California. <clears throat> so the United States. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can make it sound more. Uh, okay, this is just Mike struggling for words. Um, <laughs> Uh, Man, we a coast, the... we're a coast-to-coast -coast stream like Space Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, how long has that show been off the air? Too I was actually long. just... Sorry, just the idea of Comedy Central just reminded me. I just I was just actually re-watching... I watched two episodes of uh, the new season of Mystery Science Theater 3000 recently. I was very, very happy with the, lots of pop culture references that they were making. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't <laughs> it was bad. very well done. It wasn't the same as the original, but it wasn't bad. Hmm. So with Space Ghost Coast to Coast, would I be Zorak or, or as as Jin? As Jin? Oh, good lord! Yeah, I guess you're kind of <laughs> Zoracking. Yeah. I really I like be, I, mean, I like Wallace's Brack, but I think he's smarter than that. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
and Leganor is a pretty decent Space the guy the guy Space. with the with the levers. <laughs> <laughs> you would make it you would make Leganor a Space Ghost? No, nah, he, he's smooth talker. He would be Space Ghost. Hmm. Okay, the reboot is done. He's joining back into Discord. And he's in Rome 20. And he's Hooray! in Rome 20. Hey, we did it. We got there. So after that reset, and all the a, frames are correct. There's a banner that says they're experiencing connectivity issues. All right. Well, you're in at the moment, so you can see your token <laughs> in the bottom right of the map, correct? Oh, yeah. I imagine, I imagine Roll20 is probably being way more heavily used than it's oh, used I to. I guarantee it. <laughs> Especially with all the free stuff that... Uh, um, wizards? No, they're not. They're Wizards of the Coast? Who yeah, actually... Wizards owns D&D. &D. Yeah, with all the free stuff that Wizards is putting out now. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they also did, <clears throat> they're also being active in their development team as well. They they're they just released a big update to dynamic lighting, and they're going to be phasing out the old dynamic lighting tools in favor of these new ones. Just as, so as soon as you learn how to use them, they're going to change them all. Well, they're they're making it easier, which is good. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So, I'm assuming Jeff, you can see the inn in front of us. Yep, big map. So this okay. here is the Sawtooth. All right, so is there, I don't know, do you have flavor text? Or... Nope, no flavor text. Um, before you stands a large, sprawling structure. You can hear the sound of voices inside. Um, the surrounding area is thickly wooded, although um, directly behind the inn has been cleared years ago uh, and is more of an open, grassy area. Um, to the left, across the path, is a small farmhouse um, with a small, small field behind with vegetables. Um, you can see a farmhand of some kind tending the, the vegetables. Um, that's really all you can see at this point. You can investigate more if you wish. There's no one obvious on that boat back there? You don't really yet see the boat back there, even though you can physically see it. Like You'd have to go investigate further. What about here, where I had line of sight? Like, do I see figures at least? Um, so from here, you can tell that across the field, towards the shore of the river, are you know a dock area uh, and a lumber yard, and there are various people milling about. Okay. Um, no, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to this end. Okay. Yeah, I figure we just head inside. Bust down the door. Um, you don't need to bust down the door. No, as we're it not is, busting down the door. We're as not it busting. is open, since it's like it's like dusk. <laughs> Wait, um, guys, I, I do feel bros, the. Before we go inside, bros, uh, do you think I should go in looking like this? What, what do we think? Are we gonna make this a little more quiet, or does it really? We're we're three travelers, except don't try to scare anyone. You're you're scary enough as it is. So. Yeah, All can, right, we, bro. can we can we just I'm be ourselves? Can we be ourselves and not intentionally Wallace, try like, to for be the love of God, can we just play it straight? <laughs> Fine, fine. <laughs> I'll do it, but I won't like it. And I walk in with like, my head it's... high, just kind of looking around like this. <clears throat> so the three of you enter the Zatu? Yes. <clears throat> I guess I'll go in last, just to respond to what... <sighs> respond to what sparkles and fingers want to do. <laughs> I walk in, I've got my, my duster kind of billowing behind me, take another step in, kind of look around. You're not actually in, I don't know what you're doing there, Jeff. Is that, that's outside? Oh, is dynamic lighting messing you guys up? Yes. It's very dark know, in here. Like, <laughs> in here, out here, I don't know what's going on. Is that an act? That looks like a flashlight. Oh, there we go. So we were outside up yeah, until then. Oh, okay. Why can I wait? Hang on. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna make it easier for you guys. Um, hang on. There should be a button for this. Yeah, let's just wiggle, wiggle around a little bit to open up area. So sorry. Um. Bring you guys back over here. Stop moving. Sorry. Yeah. Stop it. So you guys enter the <laughs> sawtooth. There are a number of people seated at various chairs uh, around the different tables. A 
um, barkeep stands behind the bar here, uh, wiping down a mug and doing bartender things. Um, over here is a stairwell that leads upstairs. Uh, this over here is a small stage up upon which sits nobody. Um, and yeah, there are several people uh, sitting around the chairs and milling about. As I said, it's around dusk, so folks are coming in. They're even like walking past you as you're standing in the doorway, um, just going to get their drinks and, and end their hard-working logger day. Are there any of the tables open? Um, there is space at this table over here. Do we have? Do we have any money? No. Nothing. Oh. No. I did not know. <laughs> I did not realize that. That's I, a problem. I pull up my, uh, what would have been oh, okay. my coin purse, and I drop it on the table. And a butterfly. You hear that? Me. You hear that? We're going to have to figure out a way to get dinner tonight. Huh. Man, I, can, I can always go intimidate that bartender over there. <laughs> can we? Can we? <laughs> uh -huh, sparkles. Very funny. Oh, oh. Hey. Uh, you're, I'm not joking. Please, please no. <laughs> no one doubts your capacity to intimidate. Just, uh, I'm oh, kind of hungry, oh. and I don't want to. I, I mean, you food. know of another inn nearby where we can get a good, a good <laughs> meal for free. I did not. Oh, damn it! I didn't realize we were given no funds. Okay. <sighs> all right. Well, I mean, I definitely said no he, he took all your wealth. You did. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We didn't even get any walking around money. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, I think I want to try to, I don't know, find work on the road. Doesn't matter. Okay. We were so eager to bolt out of there. Okay. <sighs> yeah. All right. So, all right, gents. <clears throat> One. I get some coin in our pockets. We do have. A is there, couple is days. there a barkeep across the way? Like, say. Yes. Yeah, he's at the barkeep. You said there's here. a barkeep there. Yeah. Pink, pink pings or gems. I, I look at both of you guys and I say, okay. I say, you're now uh, you're now my two biggest fans. If we want to eat tonight, and without without even a chance to respond, I just pop up and I go up to the bar over here. Think think it. You, uh... Bro, yeah, look, over at, look, look, over, look over at Sparkles. No, I, I'm a, I am I'm gone quicker than you can say. Right that. Now, he walked out. Like, like I start to get up and then. That Spock, Spock, no, no, don't just <laughs> no. If there's one no. thing we're if there's one thing we're great as as a group, it's <clears throat> coordinating with each other what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Wild card. <laughs> I, have I, I have a plan. That's how my guy would tell you. I'm not gonna sit there logically break it down Look, for you. I was the guy. wild guy running around the dungeon, so I can't oh, really my argue. Good. I like this. Say, says the same says the guy that stepped in the same trap twice. <laughs> <laughs> and swung at it and swung at the door. Never <laughs> living that one down. <laughs> <sighs> Can oh, we not be fun. murder hobos? Says the only man who tried to murder anyone so far. <laughs> 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 Let so me know when I can talk to the barkeep. So, Spockles, I think he's going to try to get on stage and hopefully get us some coin. It's, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. I think the least, the, li the low lowest, least words, you know. Oh, they... by the way, this actually happens. So, as soon as you oh, say God. that, because I have, I have very, very good hearing, at least for this one tiny little thing. Um, yes, I'm going to. Behind my I'm, back, I'm, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna cast minor illusion, right? And it's going to. Yep. Okay. So right on the table, as soon as you say that, a big giant thumbs up, like carved wooden thumbs up, appears. As soon as <laughs> Wallace explains the plan, and it appears, and then it disappears. <laughs> so the least attention, Sparkles. The least attention we can acquire upon ourselves. The right, uh, that better point, off we are. I settle down. And I look All right, let's, people, let's go like, to I Jeff. Want to get in a fight? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good evening, there, barkeep. Yeah, it's a good evening. How you doing? Uh, doing quite, quite fine. Um, my my friends and I over there, we uh, just came in off the road, and uh, well, we're looking to earn our keep, and I mean that literally. So, do you have any entertainment lined up for the evening? Entertainment lined up for the evening. 
Yeah. Oh, you're wondering why the stage is empty. Yeah. You know, we just want to know if there's a good show coming on later. Something to look forward to. No, we don't usually have shows during the middle of the week. Hmm. Quick look around the bar. How many people are there? Uh, somewhere between 10 and 20. Well, looks like you have a decent crowd here tonight. Uh, the beginning of the week and all that. <laughs> um, you think this uh, one short of a baker's dozen right here might not enjoy a little, uh, you know, dinner and a show kind of thing? What exactly you got in mind? <sighs> I'm glad you asked. And I, from the holster, I pull out the jazz flute and, like, twirl it around my fingers like, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, you fancy yourself a pipe player, eh? Yeah, on occasion, you know, when the uh, the food is hot and the ale is cold, if you catch my drift. Well, listen, there's nobody on the stage. Let yourself feel free to take yourself up there. If the drinks sure. start pouring themselves faster while you're up there, we'll see what's in it for you. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> then, just kind of so, oh, hold on, wrong thing. Saunter over, taking my time, kind of looking everyone over in the crowd, be like, yeah, I'm that weirdo going up on the stage right now. Hey, bro, you got like a hat or something you can put up on the stage? Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there. Let him, let All right, so you, um, you walk up on the stage. No one's paying too much attention. Uh, you're just a stranger <laughs> standing on the stage in a moderately populated bar. So no one's really looking just yet? Nobody's, you know, a couple of people have noticed that you've gone on the stage, but you haven't done anything, so they don't really care. So a few people are looking, everyone else not really. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well, I'm up on stage, and I pull out the flute, and just a little Willy Wonka tune, you know, da -da -da, and no one's really saying anything. So then at that point, I create a series of signs all around the bar that say like wooden carved signs and they all say pay attention the one and only and just like a whole like like oh look, there's a sign there's a sign just like poof there, poof yeah. poof and each one has yeah. some verbiage about like look, look towards the stage the the one and only Leganor. and then right. can you just link everyone... what spell you're doing this with just so i can read the text of it Minor illusion. So it lets me create a static image of an object that can fill up to a five by five by five cube. And that's a cantrip. I, cantrip, yeah. Okay. Um, I can't move it. Sure. It, it can't be moving itself. So you just um, pow, 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 pow. Self promotion, self promotion, self promotion. Bright, yeah, brightly colored. Exactly. <laughs> like little like, poof, explosions of confetti. All right, yeah. I'll give it to you. Have you, ever, you ever seen him do this before? And then, <laughs> so you have, in fact, I get um, up at this point. Th those in the bar that can read have read the signs. They have. They're like, "What is happening well, on, I, a, I, on I, a Tuesday?" <laughs> as, wait, as hold on. It gets better. It gets better. So then, I'm noticing anyone, you know, any, anyone that has a sign appear in front of them that isn't right away like, "Huh?" and looks at the, like if they're not paying attention after the sign. Let me know when that happens. All right, let, let, I just want to progress the calendar, but yeah, you, you can say that you're at that point. Okay, uh, then I'm going to use message, which is another cantrip, and I'm going to point at them and whisper to them, hey, hey, look up here. <laughs> and then while he's then doing this? They can only hear me, and then they can also communicate one time, and I can only hear them whisper. Um, I, you rolled something. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah all right. So you, you have sparks, you have the internal. attention, whether positive or negative, of, <laughs> of every patron in the bar. <laughs> um, at that point, I'm going to cast fairy fire on the stage so that I am outlined in a bright green light and proceed with the performance so as he hits his first in. note a big explosion of, of shower of sparks just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so i guess i would roll a performance check to try to captivate the audience yeah um performance check at advantage because of your awesome self-promotion and pyrotechnical display all right 16 yeah it's a great show Yes, Mike. 
<laughs> I'm looking around the bar for a note. Oh. Um, you see <laughs> no note. No, no. Um, it's, a, yeah. it's almost a misnomer. <laughs> but yeah, Jeff, you, you, you put on a real decent play, uh, a show of playing the flute. You are Ron Burgundying it all over that stage. That's exactly what I'm going for. <laughs> um, folks are definitely interested. Not only do you notice people like going up to get refills, um, a couple people come in from outside and they're like, what? Um, but also uh, at the end of your song, there are 14 copper and two silver at your feet. Excellent. And then right as the song finishes... I point to everyone one at a time with message again, and I say, "Don't forget to tip the bartender." And then, and then out loud after all that, I go, "And a and a hearty thank you to our generous host here for providing uh, delicious ale to accompany such a fine show." And then I pop. Down. You look over at Sveth, who's currently pouring a tankard, and he he gives you one of these like, "I make, right, I, make I use press digitation to make like a like a like a light form over him." Over the bartender? <laughs> the bartender, he's like a highlight. Love it. He loves it. He's like, yeah, me, yeah, beer, yeah, do it. <laughs> and so I, I discreetly collect the coins. I don't touch them right away. I'm kind of waiting for him to go back to his work. Um, collect all the coins. Then I'm going to hop back over there and say, so how about a few whales and a round of What, you're just one song, one and done? <laughs> I can know. Uh, I'm more than happy to do it again. There's a lot of thirsty people in this bar. You better keep them entertained for the rest of the night if you want to get any kind of payment. Okay. By the way, friend. What's that? Have you seen any gnomes come through here recently? I've seen a lot of gnomes come through all kinds of times. Hmm. Well, have any come in in the last couple days? Or if any come in tonight, make sure to point them out to me. I'll be so busy up on the stage, I may not notice. It's an odd request, but, you know, every man likes what they like. The heart, the heart wants what it wants, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes back to pouring beer to patrons. Good lord. You play well, me friend. I'd like to see I, you I keep it up. There, I sit there trying to sound, so is it worth explaining that my mentor was a gnome and this isn't like, yeah, whatever. But, you know. <laughs> <laughs> believe it. And then as soon as as soon as that happens, I played Deliverance on the flute. So. <laughs> uh, all right, back on the stage. Uh, round two. Should I roll again? Um, no, we'll have that performance. Like you're you're a great flautist. You're doing a great job okay. all night. All right. So after a full set, say at least an hour, and then some, then I'll pop back down. This time I'll walk right up to him. Just and... yeah. So it's it's no longer dusk. Well. We'll pre we'll assume for the time being that you are continuing your set, and now we will shift focus to Mike and and Zach. Okay. Uh, he's doing a pretty good job up there, bro. This is uh, I can't say I've ever seen. Uh, I think this is an element. This is uh, this is impressive. I gotta say, the group seems to be uh, enjoying themselves. Um. I will take. <clears throat> I mean, we have nothing in front of us, so like I'm kind of just letting them, and I'm not contributing anything to this. So like, it, like halfway through his set, I will get up and just like take a walk outside, just to stress my legs. Sure. Discreetly, so as not to disturb the show because you are no, like it would, like in between songs. Like I would try <laughs> oh. to do it like at the right time. I wouldn't be like in the middle of like <laughs> that is rubbish. Just like peace. No, because the usher's right there. His name is Jin. So <laughs> <laughs> the bouncer. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's not like it's not like we have coins to throw at the. I mean, like if there's a song that like I would know, I would sing along. But otherwise, um, uh, it's the wrong with the rest of the crowd. But yeah, no, I'd black, probably just like here. walk outside and just you know like walk around the tavern just to get a lay of the land and come back in. Okay, that's fine. You don't really notice anything out of the ordinary. You, you do see you know more people coming in. Like at after a few songs, um, the bar it's dark out yeah. now. The work's day you know day's work is done. The bar's real full. You know, like like you're in the Pelham on a Wednesday in Newport. <laughs> yeah, I might just try to, I don't know, like crowd or people watch for a minute just to see if there's anybody that doesn't look like a logger. Like if there's people that just look out of place, but I'm not, I'm not trying very hard. I'm yeah, sort of like... and, and you, you really, I mean, it's, it's a pretty decent cross-section of 
the denizens of the Uralaban forest. Most mm-hmm. are loggers, trappers, furriers, laborers, you know, no one's coming in looking like a noble or anything crazy. Okay, and if I happen to see a, a lupum tattoo, <laughs> but otherwise... Yeah, you, you haven't seen any. Okay. Yep, no, I'll just sit back and, I don't know, let this play out. Okay. Well, I, mean, I, I still think I should have I should have intimidated him. I, I could have gotten us dinner. I should have. When I hear him grumbling like that, I play like a, like a nice melancholy, like lo-fi, like, all right, all right, calm down. I don't, down. I don't say anything, I just stare at him. <laughs> like, like, all right, but, but you know, I've, I've, I've noticed, I've, I've noticed, I get it, I noticed my errors. So then I'm, I'm going to get up and I'm actually going to start to work the room. I feel like people are going to be pretty intimidated of me just in general. But uh, I think what I'll do is I'll go around, you know, if their Wait, beers have gotten, if their beers have gotten warm, I can cool it down for them. Uh, if they're, uh, all right. <laughs> if, their, if their food's gotten cold, well, you I just can roboted out that whole sigh. Yeah, yeah that was pretty cool. <laughs> like click 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 click. Um, all right, so you're you're wandering around just like schmoozing people. I'm just schmoozing at this point because I feel like people are you know getting kind of scared of me and kind of worried and you know um, I came in. Roll a charisma like... save. Ooh, charisma. It's DC ten. Uh, one second, looking for it. Oh man, ninety one. <laughs> Yeah, like so, you know, you that. have the best intentions. You're walking up to people, you're like, <laughs> let me shake your hand. The name's Jin. That's my buddy. He plays the flute. And everyone is like, whoa, dude. <laughs> and you're like, you're not trying you want a cold to. beer? But like, yeah, most people have not seen a dragonborn before, and they certainly haven't had one, like, looming over them, putting their hands on their beer. You're, you're kind of freaking people out. I'm, I'm picturing a scene from that show, Dinosaurs, where, like, the tail... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, this place is not built for you. Um, and after the third guest that you accost, um, Sveth comes out from behind the bar, and he's like, All right, friend, I think it's time you either be on your way or back in your seat. Oh, bro, I'm just trying to help, bro. I'm just trying to cool their beers down. I will if if like if like if I see that the bartender is coming up, I'll try to like walk up behind him and be like, "All right, all right Spackles, let's let's go back to the table." Bro, bro, I'm just, I'm I won't cause trying. trouble because your friend's making me a pile of money. But you keep that one on a leash, eh? I somehow know a song. Uh, I, don't know. I start playing it because uh, <laughs> it's called it's it's by a band called Corn, actually. So <laughs> freak on a leash. <laughs> nice. I, I sit down petulantly. I'm just trying to help. <clears throat> can we so, can we get a drink in front of can we get a drink in front of him uh, on his behalf so that we have a reason to sit and keep him sitting? Is that a thing we can do? If it keeps him in his seat, sure. All right. He sends over. <laughs> oh, he sends sorry, over God. two mugs of beer. <clears throat> and uh, throughout the rest of your set, Jeff. Um, you get another five silver and thirty copper. Cumulative or is another that another five silver and thirty copper? I said. Okay. Um, I did not keep track of what you said before, so. So we'll call it six silver, seven silver, and forty-two copper. Seven silver, forty-two copper. Cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> fixing on my character sheet. Okay, cool. Um, I keep believing I rolled a one on that. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you, you. You've, you've played through your standard set length. <laughs> Everyone is, you know, no more wow. They're no longer, like, wowed by you. You're just the guy who's been playing flute all night, and people have enjoyed it. And uh, they've paid you handsomely, and they're enjoying their drinks. As you walk through the crowd, they're, you know, cheersing you. And, uh... And the bartender is giving you, like, nice job, buddy. And I walk right over him and I say, all right. I know you're pouring ale. You got, you got anything Boy, else? Boy, what's your name, by the way? Well, Leganor is what they call me back in Canoria. Well, the Leganor is what we'll call you here. You play yourself a mean flute, me friend. Well, thank you very much, Sveth. Uh, Sveth, is it, right? 
Wait, would we have heard his name? I did tell you that, yes. You did tell me that? I did tell you both that his name is Sveth Yergsen. He Remember might have told one? you that, but I certainly didn't. That's interesting. Wait, I'm over... Is he at our table, or... No, you all... can't. No, you went over you, here. You said you went to the bar. Oh, okay. So you're, like, here. Oh, so that was, that was Mike, not... Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yes, Wallace... Um... Yeah, yeah so you, you, when, you, when you say, you know, blah, 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 Sveth, he looks at you a little side-eyed and he says, yeah, yeah, you do play well. As soon as he says that, um, I, I say to him, can you take a moment and come have a seat with my friends and I? I think we actually may have a few things to discuss. If not, I can bring him over here. We're not trying to... Uh, crowd you out at the bar though i'm kind of busy pouring drinks at the, at the moment but we'll see how the night plays out and if you got anything interesting to say we'll be happy to hear it later well we certainly do why don't you uh why don't you join us at our table of course in your own fine establishment haha <laughs> uh as soon as you're uh as soon as everything starts to wind down let's, let's talk some more in the meantime uh my friends and i really appreciate another round and uh Hot food of any kind, if you have it. Yeah, I think that's fine enough payment for everything you've done for me tonight. Thank send you. another round over and you'll each get the tonight's hot meal. And I assume that includes lodging as well. Uh, you presume quite a bit, do you? I'm just asking. Will you be sharing a room with the tree, are you? We can make that work. Fine, then. I'll give you a room for tonight. <clears throat> Much obliged. And um, as soon as he does that, I'm going to flip him to silver. Now that's me language. He puts him in his breast pocket. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, hop over here. And... Yep. So shortly after, um, a nondescript barmaid brings over three plates of delicious fantasy hot food uh, and a refreshing <laughs> round of yummy fantasy beers. <laughs> McFantasies. Yeah, McFantasy. The, the fantasy <laughs> McValue meal. <clears throat> you guys are just sitting at the table <clears throat> that for the remainder? Was an impressive, Eating... uh, that was an impressive display there, fingers. Well done. Thank you. I look over I look over at Jin and I say, really good. Uh, you did a good improv there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I assume you know, in all earnestness, uh, I forget the name of that one. I never studied it too hard back in the Bard College, but the, the really nice effect. We could, we we should work on this. I I agree, bro. I mean, this is pretty cool. I mean, I was you know, I got to use my sparks and, and and that was great fun. Great fun. Sparkles was indeed sparkles. <laughs> Thank you, Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> fingers got to be fingers, sparkles got to be followers, sparkles, and I'm just looking forward, and I just appreciate I just appreciate the bowl of soup there, big guy. <laughs> well, like, right, I'm sure. happy that I didn't have to kill anybody today. <laughs> and then, while we're waiting for the I'm, I'm going through what little gear I have, the heavy crossbow, the hand crossbows, all the bolts. <laughs> Kind of cleaning everything, you know, wiping it down. Like Daryl from The Walking Dead always seems to have it in great condition. Sure. <laughs> is there, um, there isn't a job posting wall, is there? Um, there is some manner of bulletin board, yeah. After I eat, and if we're still, I mean, it's clear it's going to take a little time for the bar to wind down, I'll go take a look at that since we got a few days and we have no money. <laughs> okay. Um, when you read the bulletin board, um, you see a list of the week's entertainment events booked for the Sawtooth. Um, you can write these headers down, and if you want any of them explained further, I can. Um, okay. You see someone posted a note asking for um, bear skins for trade. Uh, and he's is offering uh, coin or um, B A R E or B E A R B E A R. <laughs> and, and the note the note says that they will offer coin 
or beaver skins of oh. equal value. Are you sure, B E A R? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I love playing Dungeons and Dragons with four year olds. Um, <laughs> you see another posting um, seeking out uh, any information of the whereabouts of a bandit camp. Ooh. Oh, that a, has the Blackguard seal uh, uh, attached to the bottom of it. Ooh, this could be fun. This could be fun. <laughs> Keep going. And you see another posting um, looking for um, temporary farmhand work. Inquire within. Bro, I don't want to do no labor. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so I would like does to Does Mike know this now, or does he... Well, I guess... You Mike knows this card. I'm the one that went up and looked it up, yeah, so... Um, I mean, yeah, I would inquire further about the Blackguard one and the farmhand work. Okay, so the farmhand work uh, said just that. Um, temporary temporary job for farm day laborers needed, inquire with... <laughs> the... and, like, go to the bar is what you yeah. mean. The okay. um, the one that had the uh, blackguard symbol on it um, is very official letterhead. It's sealed. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a very like <clears throat> you know realm wide or posting so to speak um, that says wanted. Any information leading to the discovery, capture, or um, disruption of a a, a troop of bandits known to ravage the uh, Uralavan Valley area. Um, please seek out any Blackguard um, to um, to relay this information. Uh, okay. Black and it says Blackguards can be found at Fort Dane, uh, Uralava, or um, oh, okay. or Gaspar. Ow. Oh, mm. Alright. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, okay. <clears throat> Do we know about this now? Would, would you have come over and tell us? I mean, I'll no, I'll. <clears throat> so I'll come back and just like so, gents. There's a uh, there is a if we find ourselves. Uh, I don't know how consistent. Uh, I don't know how quickly. <laughs> thing is here can. Uh, I don't know how quickly these people get bored. And I don't know how many nights there's already an entertainment booked, or if there's something that you'd be competing with other people's. Well, I'm you do sure know how, how many works. nights there's already an entertainment book. That was the first <clears> bullet, and I read, I told you they existed. Oh, I do. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Um, so what nights are open? I would have, yeah. So there, there is entertainment booked every fantasy Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So and today's Tuesday. And today is Tuesday night. <clears throat> okay. Because I know D and D works on it. A... Well, T and D works on a ten day, right? Or yeah, your calendar Emory works on a seven-day calendar. Okay, my bad. Um, <clears throat> okay, so I'll you know I'll come back. So uh, thing is, you got a competition for that stage not tomorrow night, but every night after that while we hears. And uh, that's being generous, don't you think? I. Uh, <laughs> look, you're very talented, and you got sparkles here to. Sparkle, I, I can keep off that stage. I can keep off that stage for you. Uh, <laughs> what? What? Ha, ha, it, never mind. Not gonna. We're not gonna go there. Not, not gonna ask. Um, there was some information ask. There was a post asking about uh, whereabouts of a bandit camp, but we'd have to go find some black god uh, not here, either in Dane, Gaspar, or Yerlaba. So that doesn't really no. help us. There is a posting for wrong, some... my friends. But uh, didn't Sturgis say that he had all the material wealth he needed to begin to to further his pursuits? And that our errand that we're undertaking right now is the only thing standing in the way of that. Basically, yeah, I mean, he doesn't he doesn't need to rob and pillage anymore, right? He doesn't, but that doesn't stop the <clears throat> Lupum from continuing to do what they do. There's a great way to make some money here, don't you think? Yeah, no. we can promise. No, I do not. <laughs> yes, yes, there is. <laughs> I kind of I kind of look away from Wallace and I look at Jin. <laughs> <laughs> I know where your head is. We can we can report to the black guard <laughs> because we did the honorable thing and sent back Vern's ring. We, they have to take us at our word. We can we report to them it. that either A, it stopped, and we stopped we it. We don't or know B, that. 
or B, we can tell them exactly where to go without getting in the way of our current employer slash puppet master. Either way, it would involve us leaving our current establishment and via a soft course for what we're trying to do here. And then there is a temporary farm hand work we can do to do at least a little bit of manual labor in order to be able to give us enough right. coin. Because I don't know well, how. You know, you know I'm, about to you there, uh, I'm sure you can you can swing a, a pickaxe and a, and a hoe better than I can, you know. But yeah, farm hand work and deal more with. The... Have you seen what I'm working with? And I pull up a, a, a hand flute and a hand cross. <laughs> my, 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 my strength mod is a negative one. So. Yeah, same here. <laughs> you, two, you two can work. That's that's fine, gents. You two can work at night. I can work during the yeah, day. We're well, just so waiting for time here. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if we get a courier to get a message back to the Blackguard, that we can either guarantee that it stops within a, you know, we say, oh. We got this one. It's going to stop. Hook us up later. Or we can tell them exactly where to go to put an end to it themselves. Either way, there's a reward headed our way. Except if we send them to Frosty, Frosty's not exactly going to appreciate us. Why would we send them to, to Frosty? Sturgis. What? I hate that name, by the way, for the record. <laughs> <laughs> you hate Frosty or Sturgis? Frosty. Oh, yeah. You don't like Frosty? <laughs> That's all, you're the one that can me, Frosty. <laughs> We don't send them to Sturgis in the in the temple over there. We send them to the last place on the map that we haven't been to yet, which has to be the bandit camp. That's got to be where that other Gilland, Gilland was the hell was his name? Dolland, right? Dolland. Dolland oh, Kane. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. The one that was in the, the yeah. Cell his name us. is Dolland Kane. Well, well yeah. we can talk about we can we can keep that in the back of our minds for when we're done in the swamp. All I'm saying is one little courier, and we set ourselves up with a nice payday at some point. How does that sound to you, Jin? That sounds great. <laughs> Jin, Cookie Monster, Jindorum, Zeb, Dab, Price. Great. Fat Albert. <laughs> All right, so just so I'm under, just since so communication between the three of us doesn't seem to go very, doesn't be as smooth as it has been, that we can be. Uh, when Maybe Mr. there's a surplus of words. <laughs> Mr. Speth, when Mr. Speth comes by, Mr. Yergsen, as uh, Flosty was nice enough to inform us, we're just going to be straight with him, right? We we're looking for the wild man, and we're looking for the gnome, so we can pop on to the tour, whatever it was. Oh, yeah. I have no intentions of harming anything gnome. The gnomes are uh, my adopted people, if you will, so... I, I agree with you. All right, that's a little we weird. Tell, we right. tell him. Well, the heart wants what the heart wants, I suppose. <laughs> <clears throat> so we have to tell him why. So we are just telling him we're looking for the wild man, so we can go into the swamp. All we have Good. to tell him is that we're under the employ of someone who wants us to assist with this archaeological effort. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Think about that. Wonderful. Sit back and. In fact, it might even be better to say that someone with uh, ties to the university itself has requested our presence in addition to the team right here as bodyguards. Because hmm. in ancient ruins, you never know what you're going to find. That That is surprisingly uh, honest. I'm okay with this. You know, and uh, if we, if we uh, scout ahead and find something that they don't need to know about, And I make exactly that face, and that exactly. That face. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, I mean, he. So, whereas I normally try not to bring a lot of attention to myself, we very clearly brought a lot of attention to ourselves over the last hour. That's not so I style. will try to. Yeah, no, I will try. Completely not. I'll try to like just I don't know once over the crowd to see if there's anybody that's trying to eavesdrop on our conversation. You've been on dropping eaves again. Jim. Sorry, I was moving around windows. Say that one more time. I'm trying to see if I'm while we're having this conversation, I'll like look past fingers and spackles to see if um anybody happens to be eavesdropping on our conversation because I know that like I wouldn't be surprised if people would come up to Um so uh, roll a fan uh, in the of, roll a perception check. Okay. Because I wouldn't be surprised if like people come up to fan in the middle of our conversation to be like, hey, that was really good. Like I'd kind of expect that, but um that was happening earlier, but not so much now. 
Okay. And no one, none of the patrons are paying any attention to your conversation. Um, cool. But you do notice Sveth is keeping, like, every time he's done wiping a glass, he's looking over at you guys. He pours a beer. He's like, he's like keeping interest in your table. Okay. So I'm making sure we're not walking away. Well, you liar scene. I, I don't actually know what you said to him. So, okay. <clears throat> Fine. So yeah, we're, I think we're just waiting for him now. Okay. Uh, is that all three of you? Are all three of you? Let me tell you guys about. Let me tell you guys about shovels. <laughs> shovels. I don't actually have those notes in front of me, but I oh, came I was up with a character. Oh, gonna let it go. <laughs> That's no, all right. No, no, Next time. Yeah. <clears throat> so yeah. So lack of computer. Mike goes through a, a long e explanation of shovels and his history with that. I assume person. Basically, a former a, a former fellow cop of mine who I managed to like. He won it. He won a bar fight with a shovel, and no one knows how he got the shovel. It may or may not have been me that brought the shovel, but he had a shovel, <laughs> <laughs> and he became shovels. So the night the night passes. Um, patrons stagger out drunk, head up to their rooms if they have them, and the bar starts to clear out. When it's just Sveth and the three of you, he kind of cleans things over and saunters over to your table. Pulls up a chair, turns it around backwards, steps over it like Will Riker, and sits into it. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Franks, you beautiful, beautiful man. Anyway. He says, all right, so your friend says you got some dealings with me. And he looks at Not you, yet. Wallace, and he says, what do, you, uh, what do you got to tell me? He's looking at me? Yeah. Uh, well... We are here to we are we are here through a contact with the university to see about finding the wild men because we understand that they're the types who uh, do tours and uh, helping out with people with the university going into the swamp. Uh, that explains the infatuation with the gnomes. So somebody told you that if you're looking for the wild man, you got to come talk to old Sveth Yerkson, eh? Yeah. As soon as he says that, I say in Gnomish. That's part of it. He says back in Gnomish, what's the rest? Ah. Well, why don't we keep it in the common tongue, then, and we'll explain all. Yeah, I do not all right. You sure... You sure... Um, Weave a great tune on the flute. Let's see how your tale comes out in in, <clears throat> in words. Well, it's like this. Wallace and I are uh, we're friends and uh, professional colleagues. Uh, he's a private eye of sorts, and I've been helping him out recently. And uh, we normally work out of Erlaba. The problem is, is that we've fallen into some hard times and seem to be parted from all the wealth that we had accumulated before. And... Quite simply, we are looking to meet up with the latest team, academic team coming out of the university, and it's our charge to make sure that nothing happens to them, uh, bandits or otherwise, both en route and also at the archaeological He kind of cuts you off, and he says, if you're trying to take work from the wild men, you've got a hard task on your hands, me boy -o. Oh, we're not we're not trying to take work. See, they're they're still getting paid what they're getting paid, and we're getting paid aside by a generous benefactor. But they feel the need to double up on security, and so all we want to do is approach the wild men and have a proper conversation among civilized folk about how to proceed. We're not looking to hijack or take over. We're just adding a few extra bodies to keep away the wolves at night. That's all. So you're not looking to skim any of the coin promised to him? No, we. Oh. I assure you, something far more valuable has been promised to us in, instead, and we're working on a bond. We're working on that bond instead. We don't want any of their pay. We don't want. Just someone wants to make sure that nothing happens to this team, and yeah, we're the hired muscle, even if it doesn't look like it. Tell you what. <clears throat> I don't have any entertainment book for tomorrow either. If you bring in the same kind of patrons you did today, tomorrow, I'll set a meeting up with, uh, with Rolfo. I have one question for you. Uh, 
I was expecting you to say, and that is. He he says so with his eyes. <clears throat> oh, you're in this camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stream, and this is you guys. That's why I was like, is there is there something coming? Is there... <laughs> Uh, so tomorrow, do you want a, uh, should we switch it up to like a more of a neon blue? I guess it wouldn't be neon. That wouldn't make sense. Uh, a deep auroral blue. Like you see when the sun's dancing. Oh, I don't care yeah. if it's pink, purple, or rainbow colored. As long as you get drinks purchased, so that's all that matters to me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, my, my associate over here, he's a little clumsy with people, but when it comes to setting the uh, effects for the stage... Quite, quite good. Yeah, say. it was it was interesting. Interesting. I noticed uh, you probably put a few more coins in your pocket last night than you would have expected for midweek performance. Look, I gave you the room and the food, didn't I? Oh, I'm not asking for more. I'm just saying I think it's a win-win. There's a reason I asked you to do it again, isn't it? Hmm. Fair enough. Um... He looks right. at you, Wallace. This one really wants a big pat on the back, eh? He's very talented with his fingers. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> He's talented oh, with sparkles. I don't need to know the the, in, the ins and outs of you relationship. <laughs> soon as he in, as soon as as soon as that's implied, Wallace is genuinely confused by that statement. I pull up the crossbow <laughs> and I and I shoot it at the table right in front of Wallace, like a hair's width from the edge, to be like, "That's what he means by, think, you know, not like." Yeah, Whoa. every everyone kind of jumps at that. Like, uh, what? thing is, but that better be that was... the last bolt you fire in my establishment. I'll tell you that much. Of course, that was more of a warning shot here. To, well, to, here's a warning shot from you. you. You bring your weapon out again, and that'll be the end of our dealings. Hmm. <clears throat> the tavern wench. Send her up to... Oh, that's right. We're sharing a room. Hold that thought. Uh, literally, to break, try to break the tension. Uh, uh, just as, a, as an aside, it's something to... Uh, Keep myself entertained during the keep keep myself busy during the day. I noticed your posting has a mention of uh, temporary farm work. Oh yeah, me um me sister owns the little farmhouse across the street. That's how we get most of the greens for the foods here. Um, around this time of year, there's a lot of harvest going on. We can always use an extra hand or two. If you're willing to put in a hard day's work, I'd be willing to put a hard day's pay. I happen to oblige there. Oh, what is excellent. the pay for such work? An an. A hard day's pay. <laughs> I, I don't have a number off the top of my head, but it's not going to be a lot. Five copper, like, ten copper. Yeah, it's yeah, like, it's not it's be like a lot. eight, eight copper. Oh. Yeah. Bro, why don't we go out there and kill some, uh, kill some bears? <clears throat> I like, I like where your head is. I didn't tell you about the, I didn't even tell you about the bears, by the way. Oh, I thought you let us know. Uh, no, I didn't tell you about the bears. <laughs> that's highly unfortunate because that <laughs> that would probably take less time than trying to organize a courier to get word to the black guard that we're trying to con them. <laughs> you guys ever, do you guys ever see that show where like the guy trades a pen for an apple, and then he trades the apple for like a tricycle, and he trades the tri and he trades up to a car? I've heard yeah, about that. I've not, I've not seen a show that does that. Just but I've heard you know, that sort of thing. you're starting with bear pelts. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Um. Yeah. So. How did you hear about this this uh, farm handwork, by the way? It's, How did it's, you hear about the farm handwork? I, I told you about it. It's the post on the wall. Well, oh, you weren't talking to me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm the one asking for it. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the post on the wall. It's the same one that, that the post on the wall over there. There's the one about bear skins. There's the one about the bandits. And then there's the farm. We have to be around here for what we're hired to do, so... You You're saying there's a bounty on uh, bear skins. Is that your your posting there, Speth? No, I, I, that's a community bard. A lot of people come in here, furriers, traders, trappers, loggers. If they need extra work, they're free to post in the bard. So Wait, you, you know wouldn't know to... who's paying for these bear skins right now? <clears throat> well, I'd have to check the note. He stands up and he walks over. All right. Yeah, this is Dannon. Hmm. He comes in usually on, um, I gotta pull the damn calendar up again. 
He says the word for Fantasy Friday. <laughs> so a few days away. Yeah, because it's Tuesday night right now. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, thing is, do you know how to hunt bear? How hard can it be? Sure. Uh... <laughs> just go silent on that since, <laughs> <laughs> since Smith is still in the room. Like, I'm just, we're not gonna let that go. We're not gonna as, as a as a bard with an average intelligence. I'm sorry. Wisdom. It's it's currently Wednesday night. Ooh. Okay. So Wait. as a bard with average intelligence, so we'll intelligence. we'll say that the the entertainment instead of Thursday to Sunday is Friday, Friday. to Tuesday. Okay. Friday to Monday. So that that okay. plan still works. But yeah. So, so he's usually in on playing. every day. So I need to play 24 hours from now. No, or, tom yeah, wait. tomorrow night. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> well, I turn to Jin and I say, what do you think about a little bear hunt tomorrow? I say, we're about to go hunting bear. <laughs> um, For is, 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 this, is this conversation having in front of the bartender? Yes. Um, no, he walked over to see who the posting was and went back to his work because he figured he was done talking to you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. You, then, then it's just amongst the three of us. <clears throat> you, you two know how to hunt a, how to track a bear? Have you ever picked a radish in your life? <clears throat> oh, no. Be. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say that I have. But I've also been. I grew up in the city, so this is what. And I mean, you grew up in. You did university and. Actually, I don't know anything about how your background sparkles, but maybe... Why I don't know, did you, did you, did you, yeah, I, but a radish I'm... doesn't bash my head in if I do it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so, the, two, the two of you think you're just going to... I mean, one, you, you. I mean, I know there's a little bit of... you got to find the bear, you got to kill the bear, and then you got to skin the bear the right way. I mean, there's, there's, there's steps to this. So come yeah, with me. You, you, you want to... <laughs> Look at it. You know what? We're going to split the party. You two want to go out to base? <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm doing far and work. You two want to... I'm not... If 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 for some reason... The, I think that your sensitive fingers would be far more... Would be better off protecting themselves and just being safe for the bar for tomorrow night because that seems critical to what we're trying to do here is, versus you trying to go entertain a bear. You know what, you're right. I think I'll get drunk instead and sleep in until midday. <laughs> we can always go uh, hunting some bandits. No, nah, that's, uh, we'd have to, that posting involves us going to a different city and a different place altogether to try to inquire about it. But wait, the town did it though? Cause the, or, or do we just have to report it to the Black Card? Uh, they were asking for information. Well, oh, you can okay. go read it. You, you can read. You go read it yourself. <laughs> think, think of it this way. You know, it would take, it would take uh, about you a week. Read. <laughs> Short of getting horses or you another can. cart ourselves, it would take about a week to get back to Uralaba to talk to the Black Guard, and then another week after that for them to I get up to the bandits. Go, I was just thinking we'd just go kill some bandits and tell the Black Guard after. Um, but you see, we, it's going to take more than the time we have to get there and back. All right. All right. So hunting bears. Wait, well, that, that, that's an option. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to sleep in tomorrow, get ready for the show tomorrow night. So. All right. Let me see yeah, if I can. Yeah. Sparkles, if you're going to go alone to hunt bears, it's been, it's, it's, it's been a pleasure knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna work I mean, well for me. I'm all not right, gonna stop right, you, but <laughs> so, all right. So, what is this manual labor crap I gotta do here? I'm sure it's gonna be something involving a lot of heavy lifting and just hauling stuff around. We're gonna work a sweat, and the fact that you're gigantic will be very helpful. <laughs> yeah, bro, but uh, lifting is not my thing. You know, I just gotta. Yeah, I only the, fact get glamour you, muscles. The, fact, the fact that you're taller than me will be. Then you're fine. You and I can you can help me, we'll we'll figure it out. I just need people to carry things, it'll be fine. All right, bro. All right. All right, so what's the plan? Um two of us are gonna do manual labor in the we're going to bed, and then two of us are gonna do manual I'm gonna labor start in the morning. Heading up to the bed to the room, and then when I'm several paces ahead of them, I'm gonna be like, Oh by the way, I got us a room, but 
You guys get the floor. What? <laughs> Wait. What? And I'm wow. up okay. to the room he to pass out. I mean, to be fair, he did he did get us the room, so I suppose that's. that's... <sighs> okay. All right. Try to couch. <laughs> um. So it's it's a it's a decent sized room. It's like a twenty by twenty five. Um, there's a big double bed, there's a chair, there's a trunk, there's a desk with a, a oil lamp, and um, plenty of floor space if you wanted to unroll your bed rolls or whatever. Like, you could all sleep comfortably. Two of you could be in the bed if, if that were allowed. Um, you have plenty of room. Oh, I will take the crossbow bolt out of the table. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just so it's not just left there in the morning. Sure. Yeah, it's it's recovered and it's in good shape. You can add a crossbow bolt to your inventory. Oh uh, no, I'll just like as we get back into the room, I literally I'm just gonna like toss it pretty much in Fanaro's <laughs> face. <laughs> like, oh by the way, you left this at the table. Got it. I don't know what the heck you were thinking pulling that thing out. What were you thinking pulling that thing out? Who said I was thinking? <laughs> wild card. <laughs> I'm charismatic. I'm neither wise nor intelligent. <laughs> I would get what, uh. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm pulling my bed while I go to sleep. So Wallace goes to sleep. Jin? Uh yeah, I'm gonna uh uh, I'll sit on the couch and try to fall asleep. Or on the chair, I mean. I'm just try to... the chair? Just sleep in the chair? Yeah. You're sleep in the chair. the chair, you said? Yep. Not on the floor? Alright, that's interesting. Sleep, sleep, sleep sitting up. I want to look, I wanna look like, a, like a face in the door, you know? Like, Do you also in. go to sleep, Jeff? Mm hmm. Alright. Okay. Jin. Make a perception check at disadvantage. <laughs> cool. Oh, <okay. laughs> at some point in the middle of the night. Um, now all three of you make perception checks. Just regular. Oh boy. Okay. At some point in the middle of the night, all three of you are woken up by a voice that says, Hey, here's somebody's looking for the wild man. Instantly, I reach for my hand crossbow and I'm looking around. Yeah, I'll bolt up and, mm -hmm. I don't know, find a light source. <laughs> when you do this, you see... Oh, no, yeah, no light source, it's dark. You bolt up. Um, I, I immediately cast light on, uh, on one of the cotter pins that I have in my uh, in my inventory and hold it up. <laughs> that's why I have that's why I took those cotter pins. So I have something. Yeah, that'll work, yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so I a torch, basically. Okay, hang on, I have to change some notes to the other thing here. Look at that. Standing at the foot of the bed in the room is this character. And he says, uh, he's a gnome, by the way. I, I greet as soon as I see that he's a gnome, and it doesn't look like he's threatening immediately, I give him a greeting in gnomish. Like, whatever gnomes would say. Not that I'm a gnome, but like whatever you would say in like the gnomish language. Like, ah, oh, hell and well met. Blah, 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 blah. He um he nods your way and continues in common. I assume that was you looking for the wild man. Yeah, you f you found us at a pretty odd hour of the night. What's going on? Spet tells me you're looking to muscle in on some of our work here. Oh, we do want to add muscle, but we're not trying to muscle in on your earnings. Um. Our generous benefactor from the university has already made a separate contract with us, so whatever you're getting paid is still all yours. 
What, Galran doesn't think we can handle the job anymore? I think this is one of his colleagues who has a vested interest in the success of the project. And, um, well, when you've been in this business long enough, you know, only to ask the questions that you really need to ask to get the job done. And that was, where do we find the team? And how do we best escort them into the ruins to make sure no harm comes their way? So what was it, Bertram? You realize as a working professional, I'm really not at liberty to discuss these things. Was it Fleck? Was it, is it Fleck? Fleck doesn't think we can do it. I told Fleck our job, the last job wasn't our fault. Does, I, I'm, I'm giving him the once over, like, is this, basically, I want to I wanna see if I can use an insight check to tell if this guy is being truthful or not. I would also want to do the same thing. Yeah, you can both make checks. Um... Insight. I'm also going to try to do my Sherlock Holmes once over, like, is he actually, like, what is this guy wearing? Like, does he look like somebody who lives in the woods? Does he look like somebody who lives in the city? Is he, like, sure. I don't know, scars, all that sort so, of thing? So, Jeff, your insight doesn't lead you to believe he's being <laughs> dishonest. He seems genuinely trying to figure out, you know, what, what colleague of Galron has... Uh, asked for more muscle on this expedition mike mm. you are very confident that he is genuinely trying to figure that information out um you can also ascertain that he is um dressed like a type of adventurer so to speak he's got your classic like coat and um you see uh pouches and satchels on his back on his belt rather um he has a hatchet slung on his belt as well um, he, um, he also has, like, um, like a medallion, like an ornate looking medallion around his neck. Do I recognize it? Um, not any symbol you know, it just, it's nice looking. Okay. But he doesn't look, he doesn't look, as far as gnomes go, he doesn't look really beefy, he looks like, uh, slim and slender. Got it. Okay. Um, no identifying markings, no tattoos, no, like, no, official, just, okay. Just, uh, just a medallion just, I don't recognize. Yeah, just a guy. Okay. Otherwise. Um, Zach, what? Yeah, are you attacking him? <laughs> so, when he, when he, I cast the light and I stood up and I'm Bro, what was this guy? You know, but, but I, but I noticed that you greeted him, or that, uh, that Jeff... Legnor greeted him in gnomish, so at that point I kind of like took my cues from him, and, and I'm just I, was, I just stood there, kind of looking intimidating, but not saying anything. So you didn't cast, you didn't mean to you cast. Didn't actually, cast Ray of Frost. <laughs> oh no, did I click that? I'm yeah, <laughs> I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> what <was> that? <laughs> okay, like, I, was, like, I wanted to make sure. Nope, I did not I just, mean to cast. I'm just looking at the camera of like around. <laughs> <laughs> like he's having a conversation I'm clearly one thing over and then the dragon board is just like boom <laughs> like, what's happening alright so so yeah so he's, he's continuing to talk to you Jeff trying to figure out like he's trying to pry you to find out what colleague doesn't trust the 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 workings of the wild men and has sent for more protection <clears throat> the last thing he said to you what was the first name that he mentioned again? Would I remember that off the top of my head? Uh, yeah, let's see if you remember. Roll a uh, wisdom save. Or you could just give me the uh, stream feed. <laughs> uh, wisdom, you said, right? Yeah, wisdom save. It'll just be a 50 50. Over 10, you get it. So you click on saving throw rather than wisdom itself, right? Correct. Yeah. Um, so he, he first he said Galron, then he said Bertram, then he said Flick. Galron. I spell Galron. Doesn't matter as long as you can say it. And Flick. Flick was the third name. Well, in our dealings with this person, they preferred a bit of anonymity. Um, I think to protect the. Uh, professional, shall we say, working ego of Galrond. So I don't know exactly who this person was. Uh, they're definitely very snooty and, uh, you know, didn't seem to appreciate the kind of uh, working class, salt of the earth approach that we have here. But 
time is of the essence and they wanted to make sure that none of the recent bandit parties that have been plaguing these woods uh, came across this research team so yeah i mean that's why you hired a wild man we make sure that doesn't happen well there's reports uh, supposedly that they're ramping up their attacks that are happening with greater frequency um look on it honest to uh what's the name of like the most common deity i'll just say honest to god and have it mean that right emmer o honest to emmer we're, we're not here to take anything from you we're here to add to the nerds that are going into wherever and uh we're here for them we want to make sure nothing happens to them we're being paid well that's all we want to do do we, we have to feed you no we'll totally we're self-sufficient well i assume we'll travel together but we're literally going to follow where the team goes so wherever they decide to go is where we go which means we don't really need to make any decisions other than to scout ahead on occasion to make sure there's no ambushes or anything like that well, I gotta say, this is highly, uh... Unusual? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. We thought so, too. We said, why, if you already have a contract out with uh, a known entity, why add up? But, uh, you know, these academic types, they spend so much time talking amongst themselves that they just they run a frock with paranoia and wild I mean, theory. you know your way around your lava? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. All right. What direction is the Ural Pass from here? From here? Uh, northeast. Alrighty. How many temples has the uh, uh, university already discovered? Can we do a collective intelligence check there? Huddle. Would, uh, I mean, I don't know. Would, well, would, would, that... would Floss, was that one of the things that Flossy would have told us? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I would say it would, yeah, it'd be probably no Oh, well, then he would just, yeah, rattle off whatever Flosty told us. Do you remember what Flosty told you? This is one of those history checks of the Uralaban Valley at Advantage. <gasps> okay. Uh -huh. um, hold on. And so, let me, I'm going to, I'm going to, in case anybody's about to roll, I'm going to do this. Uh, history at Advantage. Oh, oh. can I... Can I do a thing before? Um, <clears throat> so I'll, can I give I'll, him? I'm just, I'm just, I'm gonna spout the answer I get with a fifteen. All right. I guess you know your way around a little bit. Well, I mean, I listen. I gotta, uh, I gotta run it past uh, the Harpons, but uh, if they don't have a problem with it, I don't have a problem with it. Do we know what that is? No. Okay. And I never would have heard of this organization, whatever he's referring to. No, you don't you have no idea what you just said. Okay. I uh, look at Sparkles <laughs> and Fingers. Whatever the heck that All is. All right. Uh, when do you expect to hear back from him, give or take? I'll meet you. Uh... I'll I'll meet you here tomorrow night. And if I don't, you can consider our business concluded. Well, I should let you know, I uh, have a contract of sorts with the uh, innkeeper, Sveth, who you must know as well. I'm aware uh, of Sveth, yeah. Who do you think well, sent he me wants to you? Me to... What's that? Who do you think sent me to you? <laughs> I have agreed to perform tonight so that Sveth can add a few more coppers and maybe even a few pieces of silver. Uh, yeah, more so than he mentioned. Did. So that tells me that you'll be here tomorrow. I will either meet you here tomorrow, or you can consider our business concluded. Oh, of course. And all I'm saying is either get there well before the show or well after. Don't don't come in the middle. Cause... Do you expect to be playing tomorrow at two in the morning? Ah, no. Then I won't drink as much next time. I right will meet you I... here tomorrow, or you will consider our business concluded. Is it is it possible we could do this at a time that doesn't interrupt the middle of sleep? <laughs> I say a gnomish to him. I say, my, my friend here, as you can tell, we, we need our rest. We've been on the road for... And then I say again in common. So it's agreed. 2, 2 a.m. tomorrow. Either you'll wake us up, oddly, and we have an accord, or you won't. <laughs> the goal is for us to work together. Is that, not, is that not true? Like, we are supposed to be a team here. Just saying. Must I say it a fourth time? 
with that, he turns and starts to walk out of the room. Was there a lock? <laughs> <laughs> Who was the last one in this room? And we just, <laughs> we just didn't lock. Um, there is a lock on the door, and I will tell you that whether you locked it or not, this all transpired. Oh, I'm sure, but... <laughs> Right, well, I'm... He's friends with the guy who owns the place. <laughs> I'm gonna look around, guys. I think we know what we gotta do. Uh, you guys have fun picking vegetables. I'm gonna sleep in, and uh, we'll know. We'll know by tomorrow we night. Have, uh, yeah, we're we're gonna. Are we are we leaving this to chance? We have no idea who these top pawns, whatever the heck he said was. Well, you see. If we do anything else right now, they'll think we have another motive. So I'd rather not do the other thing that's totally unnecessary. This seems like we're very much uh, leaving this to chance, but all right, fair enough. I suppose if any of us fails, we just go anyway. Yeah. All right. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Wait, as soon as he says that, I'm, I'm like, sorry, a little drunk. I go and tap Mike. I, I go and tap him on the chest. Hmm. Wallace, do you mean that we should go after him right now? And, no, uh, no. I mean, like, you follow the, the academics when they get here. Just... So we know yeah. the academics are definitely coming through the sawtooth. Yeah, that's they're coming here to pick up the wild man. That's the whole reason we came here. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, all right, good night. And then I hop back into bed. Hmm. Well, at this point, at this point, I just I, I kick out my bed roll and hit 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 the floor. That way, I can get to a good night's rest. Cool. All right. Night passes uneventfully. Morning breaks. Sun comes through the windows. I mean, I'll be up and early because I know that farm work tends to go from dawn. So I'm like. Oh, I'm cold. So you have to wake me up. Yeah. Sparkles. <laughs> Why? You said we're working. Uh, Wow. You have to get up this early. Come on. That's, that's, that's what farm work is. <laughs> By the way, Jim, I'm trying to sleep in, and I got a, I had a pretty good buzz going last night, but let me know if they wake me up. Yeah, I, I'm I'm on it. Okay. Oh, no, no. I will I will very loudly pull and, and be obnoxiously upset that he woke me up this early. All right, well, <laughs> then, clearly, he, he disturbs you as well. All right, and then... As soon as that happens, I'm going to cast Minor Illusion to form a, I guess you could say, like a really intricately carved dragonborn statue that's just going <laughs> right in front of your face, <laughs> like right here. Like, that's how close it is, okay? <laughs> wave it away. <laughs> your hand passes and, and through As it. soon as you hit it, it yeah, yeah, I just try to wave it away. Like, and then I cast it again until you get the hit. So. <laughs> I cast press the digitation to make it feel like you pissed your pants. <laughs> mm. That wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, we'll wait for Mike, and then I'll yeah. let the two of you go do your farming. There's not going to be too much to edit, but there's no. I figured there's stuff. This is a fun spell. I like this one. The press the digitation. Press the digitation. Yeah, it can be yeah. used in a lot of interesting ways. <laughs> Let's see. You create an instantaneous, harmless sensory effect, such as a shower of sparks, a puff of wind, faint musical notes, or an odd odor. Oh. Instantaneously light or snuff out a candle, a torch, or a small campfire. That could be very useful. Yeah. Instantaneously clean or soil an object no larger than one cubic foot, so I can make you poo your pants. You chill or make you feel like you poo your pants. Chill, warmer flavor up to one cubic foot of non-living material. This is great. This is great. I was yeah. So the two of you wake up. Um, you disturb, but he, but he deals with it, and uh, up you go. Um, you head downstairs. The inn is just opening. You can smell the kitchen starting to make your breakfast. Sveth is there, opening. So I walk up and say, like, um, morning. Can we, uh, mind? Good morning. Do we just, uh, walk over to the farm? Oh, if you're offering to lend a hand, yeah, you can go find me sister. Um, may I inquire as to her name? Jenny. 
And does she have any idea we're coming? She put a post up. I'm, I assume she's prepared for people to take you up on it. <clears throat> um, do I have any coin on me? I probably don't. So, sort of like pat my head, like, oh, bugger. It's going to be a hungry morning. <clears throat> sort of, I don't know, stuffle through it and like, right. Come on, Smuggles. Mm. We gotta earn our food. No breakfast. You got coin. I need in a you? bacon, egg, and cheese. You got, you got, you got, you got monies. I got nothing. Yeah. Out of well. character, I do feel like an asshole for not sharing what I made last mm. night. You could eat really. Mm. Well, if I had known, this is. <laughs> I'm passed out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's this is people. Re you gotta deal with what happens. Mm -hmm. I, I feel bad. This Legitimately. Gotta, we gotta go. Yeah. All right, we gotta hope. Hopefully we can find some food over in the farm. Come on. Hang on. I gotta plug my headset in. It's dying. As a, as a readied action, when they come back from their manual labor, I want to be sitting at the first table they'll see inside eating a scrumptious piece. So that's my ready <laughs> action. <laughs> <laughs> like, th think of the turkey like King Richard's bear. Like, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys go do your job. Yeah, so you walk across the street over to the um, the place, the, the house. Um, and when you arrive, there's uh, another day laborer seemingly having arrived, ready for work. Um, and off the porch comes uh, a lady, a human lady. All right, then. The tree of you, is it? Uh, and it's you, the two of you and a huge blonde haired woman in tattered furs well not tattered but like assorted furs mm -hmm. and a massive metal mall slung over her shoulders <laughs> fine morning to you is it uh jenny is it oh yeah the name's jenny jenny erickson but all you can call me is boss for tonight for today <laughs> you can call me yes, boss man. you say boss or hoss <clears throat> i said boss we got ourselves. Yes, ma <clears throat> yes ma'am. Plenty of fruits and veg out back to get harvested up. All right. Uh, and at that, the, the, let's, the, let's get the to work. The big woman yeah. who's like six two, huge built, little points in her ears, is like, ha! is that all just harvesting? <laughs> <laughs> Look over at Sparkles. <laughs> we got this. And Jenny, <laughs> we got this big guy. Jenny, um, Jenny passes like a like a knowing smirk back at the the big woman, like like they've they have a rapport. Right. <clears throat> um, she leads you to the back of the farmhouse, gives you your tools, farming implements, baskets, etc. Kind of instructs you like that's the stuff you're harvesting. That's where it goes. You, you uh, know how to do right. work, I assume. <laughs> yeah, I'll. I mean, I'll keep an eye on. I keep an eye on spackles, but otherwise, just go into it. Yeah, but I guess I'll just get to work. I mean, if if we're harvesting something edible, I would definitely have one or two for breakfast, as long as there was enough to uh, be lost in the fray. Uh, roll a slide of hand check. Yeah, that's not well. We'll see what happens. Well, I mean, if I didn't have breakfast, I'm going to need to, uh... <laughs> yeah, so... Come on! Come on! You go out into the field, and you pick this beautiful-looking cucumber. It's beautiful green, ripe. It just feels cool to the touch. You crack it in half, and you take a big old bite out of it. And I offer the other half to, to the, the, the moment you do, um, you take one point of damage from a crack on the back of the head with a wooden spoon, as Jenny says, No sampling the merchandise, you're here to work, not eat me, boy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just, I didn't have breakfast. I... That's your problem, not mine. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I gotta eat, bro. I gotta eat food. Here, you have the other half. I already ate it. No, no, you... Yeah, I'm not gonna get a crack in the. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the big lady, anyway. the big lady is like doubled over laughing at you. <laughs> All right, at this point, I'm gonna be mildly competitive with her. <laughs> oh really? 
in an attempt to try to like harvest more than she does. Okay. This is um, if I if I'm gonna try this for like an hour, and if it re it's clear that it's not working, I'm just gonna like screw it. I'm just working. No, well, um, I'm, we'll, I'm we'll picturing Brienne Tormund kind of kind of vibe going. That's on. also what I'm getting. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm. Roll, <laughs> roll, an, roll an athletics check. You roll against me three times to see if who did a better <laughs> harvest. Another one? Come on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she has plus seven. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, R roll athletics. Roll a second. Oof. Big lady. Oh, man. Wait, so on the first on the first round, even oh, though you rolled Lord. a one, okay. it was still an eight. And yeah, he rolled eight. A, so fail is a, a fail is a fail. So he, I had a fail, he had a fail. And then... The third roll, I won. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, Come she's on. clearly beastly she, she and actually knows like, how to do this. I'm not proficient at this at all. She notices <laughs> you noticing her, and then she gets like this huge smile. She gets like super energetic. She's like, oh, is it a race you want, eh? And she's like, going nuts at it. She's loading baskets. She's like, you're not going to fucking beat me. And by the end of the day, she does have bigger totals. Did she, did she go to Vassar College by any chance? <laughs> she did play rugby, women's rugby. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, so you guys work till noon. Um, they break and feed you some basic food. Um, okay. And then you go back to it around one and you work till dusk, so it's like five ish. Mm -hmm. um, when you're all done, she pays you based on your harvest. Um, so you see her hand the uh, big lady a silver. Um, she hands you nine copper, and she hands Jin five copper. There's plenty more tomorrow if you need it. Thank you kindly, ma'am. Head back onto the bar. Her <laughs> head back onto the inn. Um... Cut to that, so yeah. they did. They did feed us lunch. Yeah, you got lunch. Yeah, okay, lunch. cool. As we're walking back, I'm like, yeah, bro, five copper for all that work. Why do you think it is we do what we do? Yeah, big right. guy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what I was yeah. getting into walking into this. Being a level zero human sucks. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason I worked for the town god for twenty years, <laughs> and I'd still be there given the choice. All right, so are we we're heading back uh, to our room to rest up before uh, uh, for cutting over legs cutting, of the show. Cutting the job. Jim, I'm, I'm doing mundane normal stuff when I casually wake up around midday and then grab something to eat and loaf around. A couple new tunes on the flute, yada yada. So you're down in the inn you... during the morning, you're like just hanging out. Yep. No, I'm not doing any. I'm being very passive and. Just all right. Can't wait for tonight. That's when the big show is. Um, round about noon or so. You've noticed occasionally. I mean, people are out during the day working. There aren't a lot of people that come through the inn. Sure. But one or two here and there. But at one point, uh, what strikes you as odd is a um, slender but athletic built woman comes walking in. Um, she's in leathers, she's got a bow slung across her back with a quiver full of arrows, and right behind her, with Sveth not even batting an eye, uh, trails a lynx. Oh, hmm. <laughs> cool. Uh, hearing you whistle, she looks over her shoulder at you, stoic-faced, kind of scoffs your way and goes back to saying something to Sveth in a private uh, conversation. And, and then I call out and I said, that wasn't for you. That was for the Lynx. <clears throat> she ignores you and continues talking to Sveth. But I know she heard me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> she heard the whistle. She heard that. <laughs> okay, sure. That's it. I'm just sitting there cracking a smirk, eating some cheese, a little bread, got a... After a few words with Sveth, she looks over her shoulder back at you, kind of gives you uh, this kind of look, and continues talking to him. 
Sveth, Sveth lets out a laugh at one point, but this woman is like, she doesn't, she doesn't say nothing that you can hear. She doesn't give any real hard reaction. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Ice princess. All right. Uh, just sitting there, kind of leaning back in my chair a bit, eating, you know. She eventually takes a seat closest to the bar next to the hearth, um, leans her chair back with one foot against the wall, um, props her knee up, kind of, like, you know, like this kind of a sit, and pulls out a dagger and is, begins sharpening it, just staring at you silently the whole time while the lynx, <laughs> while the lynx curls around her feet and sleeps and is also looking in her direction. Not sleeps, but, like, just kind of lays down and relaxes. I give her a wink. <laughs> Making friends. She seems. She seems. She seems unaffected. We'll, we'll work on her. Um, I'm gonna walk up towards, kind of towards her, but still towards the bar. So she, you said she look at. Um, so on the she map, said, she's like in this seat over here, and I assumed you were over here by the stage when you were doing your thing. Yeah, that's that's our table now until we're done. Yeah. Here. Um, so, okay, so I'm kind of just slowly, and then right as she, well, right when I get to this spot, I pause for just a sec to see if she kind of looks up or tenses up, right, like, like, oh, here he comes. She seems pretty stoic. She's just kind of okay. watching you. Then I go to the bar and order another round. Um, round of what? <clears throat> Around of well, yeah. I mean, why, why am I gonna buy her a drink? No, I mean like it's another. It's a round if you're buying multiple, so another drink. Well, I guess I need one for each hand then to call it around. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. you know why not? I'll buy two and I'll uh, slide. <laughs> I'm gonna try to slide it all dexterously across the bar towards her. So, so right here? Yeah, you're trying to slide it down to her position. I understand. You don't have to draw it out. Um, yeah, I'll just do a, a slide of hand check. And here comes the one. The one. That's just awesome. a... No, you. Oh, no no he problem. Pulls it off. Nailed it's it. actually, you know, you're pretty proud of yourself for that when it stops right in front of her. You don't spill a drop. <laughs> she's, she's, she's still polishing her dagger. She takes the dagger. She does a little flip, flip, flip. She she jams it into the table, but not into the wood. It just sits between, like, the seam between two boards, so it doesn't yeah. damage the table. And she reaches, grabs it, downs it, <laughs> puts the mug down, and goes back to sharpening her dagger. So this is what I do. I, I look at her, and then I look at Sveth. I'm like, eh? And Sveth goes, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's not a gnome. I'm surprised you bought her anything. Uh, I'll take another round, even though I haven't had a chance to down mine yet. And then I take a beer. This time, very I walk it up like kind of slowly, and then as you get like within five feet of her, or so she puts her foot down. She picks her dagger up. She sheathes it. The cat picks his head up. I put out my hand for it to sniff it if it wants. Okay, yeah, it's it sniffs you. Are you are you giving her the drink? What are you doing with the drink? I'm I'm, I'm holding it, and then as soon as the cat tenses up, I kind of stop and like, all right, you know, do the old sniff test, make sure I'm not. Yeah, cat, cat's cool. I plop it down. And I say, you stick around tonight. There'll be uh, plenty more theatrics. I promise you that. Hmm. Clearly, what right the up, state? Clearly, right up my alley. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You, you could be the diurnal type. Again, eyes locked to you. She reaches forward and grabs the drink and slides it in front of her. Can't say I'll go thirsty. Yeah, especially with Speth here. He's, he's good good at pouring. That wasn't smooth. You know, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Some, sometimes it's good to roll so that the character is like, I said this, but my character was way smoother. <laughs> yeah, man. For real. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm then going to introduce myself and to say, by any chance, what brings you to uh, the Sawtooth over here? And so on. And without saying it out loud, the wild things, right? Is that the, the wild men? Wild wild men. Men. Without called. saying the wild men out loud, I'm trying to see if she prefers that. Oh, or, or proffers that. Yeah, I'm I'm part of the wild men and um, sizing you up right now. Um, she's she's stoically <laughs> engaged in your conversation, listening to anything you say. Um, the answer of what brings you here is met with what brings any of us here. Furs, traps, logs, work, travel. Bearskins. <laughs> Sorry, table talk. See, you know, kind of I, I, I have to apologize because I know what Jin would do in this case. <laughs> he would kind of run over and throw his hand you around. You guys are eating lunch at the farmhouse. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I thought we were uh, yeah, you dirty. I thought we were not there. Down down there. This okay, is a okay. conversation for civilized folks, not you farm. <laughs> I was going to do the whole, oh, yo, bro. Um, <laughs> when she mentions work, I try to get a little and, and pay her. Con and, you, know, you, uh, you don't seem like the farmhand type, nor are you uh, dressed in musky furs of little woodland creatures that otherwise are cute, cute rodents in my book. Uh, what kind of work do you do? Are you suggesting you've seen someone wear a squirrel skin coat? Uh, yeah, pretty common around here, depending on the furrier. Bottom feeders tend to wear the uh, the most animals in one pelt. Well, as you can see, I'm no squirrel skin. Well, clearly. So, you know, being well-traveled myself, I always have an eye for other adventurers who seem like they know their way around. Well, you sure know your way around a bar, I can tell you that much. Ah, is it obvious? And then I kind of turn my hip to show the flute and be like, I told you, tonight. <laughs> Do you, you spend most... Your... Do you spend most of your days chatting up women in empty bars, or do you actually do something useful besides tootle your flutle? <laughs> That's a good one. I'm going to have to write that down for the performance later this evening, or maybe some other time. Uh, well, sometimes I'm, uh, you could say, on call, as I am right now. Muscle for hire. Even though it doesn't look like it. <laughs> You say muscle, and she looks you up and down and smirks. The first emotion you've seen her show. <laughs> I knew I could make you laugh. Sveth, you owe me two silver. I don't owe you nothing, you piece of garbage. <laughs> <laughs> I say to him in Gnomish, work with me here. <laughs> he says back in Gnomish, you're on your own damn own self. You're on your damn own. You're on your damn own. <laughs> That sounds like the name he of says, He says, you're on your damn own and you're way out of your league. I, uh, I say back to him in Gnomish, never tell me the odds. <laughs> 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 um, I continue the conversation. I'm trying to see if she reveals any more about herself. She I grows, mentioned... grows. She, you see her kind of getting bored of you. She finishes <laughs> the other drink that you gave her. She um she stands up, she sheathes her dagger. I thought it was already sheathed. Wh whatever. She puts away her things. Okay. Right. She uh pats her side and the lynx gets up and she starts walking out of the bar, listening to whatever you're saying at the time, but not really paying you any heed. Well, as soon as she starts to rustle about and not pay attention, I'm gonna cut it. I'm not gonna be that guy at the bar that as she's grabbing her purse and her things like, and so anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll go back to my seat and uh, eat some more, drink a little more, go upstairs, have a nap. When she gets, friend. well, when she gets to the door before she leaves, she looks back at you and says in Gnomish, um, 
don't get too drunk, you've got a show tonight, and leaves. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Jim. Well played. <laughs> Alright, um, so Jeff continues his normal daily routine. You guys finish your farmhand. It's dusk. The bar begins to fill. <clears throat> I mean, I'll, like, find a local, I don't know, like a wash broom or something, clean off and... Yeah, I mean, there's a wash, um, there's a wash basin in your room. Yeah, yeah, I'll go up and clean up. This time, there's a. It looks like there's a sign. It's really just the illusion of a sign that says "reserved" on the table for my two friends. How long does that spell last? I'm gonna have to keep recasting it, but All right, I will that's do fine. That. I'll yeah, I'll give it to you. I'm not gonna nitpick. It's cool. I like it. Try to make it so as soon as they sit down, I'll be like, ah, I saved the seat for you, and then it disappears. Sure. Uh, how much copper will it be for me to pay for dinner? My own dinner? As soon as I hear him say that, too, I kind of laugh. I, I crack a few jokes about plucking radishes and taking bites out of cucumbers that somehow that already spread around town. <laughs> and, uh, well, oh, yeah, that definitely spread around town. I got, I got dinner and drinks tonight, so... Oh, um, by the way, when you guys were done with your work, the big woman did not follow you into the tavern. She went on her own way. Okay. I would have actually tried to, I probably would have tried to at least, like, introduce myself and get her name during lunch if that was possible, but I wouldn't have. Um, yeah, I mean, you would have had an amicable conversation with her. Um, she would have commended your prowess at picking fruits, but also <laughs> also jibed you for not being as good as her. Right, and I would have I would have played along I would have tried to play along at least. She, she's she's loud and full of energy and not incredibly well spoken, but generally nice and jovial. Okay. She's very happily spirited. <laughs> um but you you didn't get her name. If okay. you asked her outright, she kinda deferred. Okay. That's fine. Um, yeah. Giant. <laughs> I was going to try to hear this mole lady from now on. <clears throat> mole lady? Mall? She was a mauler back then. She said mole lady. <laughs> like, why? Because she dug up really well? <laughs> Got it. Mall lady. Okay. No, that's fine. That's all. I don't, I don't want to digress any further. Jim. I'm just chilling. Okay. All right. So sparkles, sparkles was a hunt. Was the day's work really that bad for you? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was table getting your hands dirty? Labor is not my thing. You know. That's, well, that's a perfect thing to say. But next time, stay in the pot. Then you're just a fine way for me to get some exercise. I don't mind it. Are you saying this near me? Uh. Sure. Yeah, you guys are all at the table. At this oh, okay. Um, when you when you mention, um, I, I make fun of Jin about how <laughs> a magic user resorts to plucking vegetables. <laughs> and, and what do you? I, I can. I have a bit of uh, arcana myself, and you know what I did today? I slept in past noon, and got drunk. <laughs> Boy, I was so I... hungry this morning, but I had to eat the cucumber. <laughs> Oh, everyone at the Sawtooth knows. <laughs> please tell me. Wait, please, 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 they please tell me if I made it. Please tell me if I made a stock of So, more patients filter in. People are eating their dinner. Um, after a short while, Sveth kind of looks over at you like, okay, you're on, buddy. I look at my assistant and I say, it's. Do the light thing. You know, lower it a bit, and then whammo. So I use, I <laughs> use prestidigitation to lower the, the general light in the room, <laughs> and then put a big spotlight right on the stage. Cool. And I go in, and instead of uh, immediately breaking into song, I kind of do um, like a bardic verse, recounting the events of the day, and like a, kind of a jest, satirical, like, 
like onion, like like an onion article, but in sing, sing song. Sure, know? sure. Like, uh, go ahead and roll performance, and we'll see how good you are at all the things you're about to say you want to do. I, I would be helping him with press the digitation, but I, you know, like. Yeah, we'll give you the like, eighteen. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's it's as good if, if not slightly better than yesterday's performance. Oh, because of at advantage. Because he helped mm -hmm. you. I helped you, so I'm I'm using I'm, I'm lower lights, I'm making sparks fly, you know, kind of enhancing your story. Just trying to lighten up the mood, you know. Um, every so often, mentioning to the crowd, uh, Speth over there, he pours a nice frosty ale. Don't forget to tip him. And after that, I just I start I start another jazz set. Cool. Um halfway or so through your set um jeff you notice the um the lady with her cat um enters the bar from upstairs she comes downstairs um hmm. and moves to a table over like the same place she was by the bar her little corner hmm. it takes the same same position same seated knee up position cat at her feet like this is this is her spot um sure at a roughly the same time, though you're unaware of her, Mike and Jin, you see from outside, uh, no, not from outside, from around the fireplace, <laughs> from like over here. Mm -hmm. um, around from that way comes the big lady with her hammer around her back, and she moves over and takes uh, a seat next to a woman that you didn't notice before. With a cat with a cat well you notice her come downstairs cat. but like you, you don't know who she was she's, she's okay. yeah and they're seated next to each other hmm. do i notice this other woman eclipse her at this point i mean you you notice that like a big woman just came and sat down next to the lady with the cat um like, like they know each other in in between the next song, I'm gonna. I'll just, if I if she happens to catch my eye, I'll just like raise my drink in her direction, just just acknowledge her. That's as far as I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> um, I mean, she she's looking in the direction of the stage, and the other woman is looking in the direction of you two. As soon as I can, I'm gonna use the message cantrip to tell Sveth to send them around and to tell him who it's from. <laughs> he messages back. Tread lightly, son. <laughs> but it's you see the him. Only way I know how. But but you see him pour two drinks. Okay. He walks over the bar. He puts him down. He gives him one of these. Goes back to his job, smiling quietly to himself. <clears throat> Continue the set. Sure. Yeah, set goes great. The loud, wo the big woman is like clapping along and woo ah she's cheering she's having she's getting into it she's having a great time the um the lady with the cat is um just sharpening that dagger it's the sharpest dagger in the realm <laughs> so you have an entire so you have an entire so just for the scene there's an entire room of like happy jovial like entertaining and then you just have this one dark cloud <laughs> yeah well <laughs> right next to her is the person cheering the loudest <laughs> <laughs> Like a complete juxtaposition of personalities. Sparkles. What do you think the odds are they're a couple? What do you What do you think the odds are that those two are a couple? <laughs> uh, I got I got what four copper. I'll throw it down for that. <laughs> yeah. of your... I'm all in. I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> a couple. He doesn't want a four CU. I mean, four copper. I get it, I, Jeff. I don't, yeah, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not. I, don't, I feel bad joke. depriving you of your monies, but I have no idea how I got to confirm this. But sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's five cup. I got five cup. It's all sure. Like... sure. <laughs> I'll, bet you, I'll bet you on mega memes. <laughs> <laughs> what else am I going to do with this cup? I can't buy nothing else with it. Food. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast? Let the bard buy us some food, alright? So, set yeah. continues. There's roughly the same number of guests, although you, there are several repeat faces and some new ones. Um, 
most of your tips come from the new patrons. People don't seem super excited about giving you more money the next day. Um, as a result, you do find yourself with uh, two more silver and 21 more copper. Um, in the middle of your last song, the two ladies stand up from their table um, and exit out this direction. Hmm. Well, continue my set. Um, <clears throat> thank the crowd, thank Speth, and uh, I'll hop back down at the right time once everything's naturally over to the table. Yeah. Good set. Success. Sveth is pleased. Um, he sends over, without even being asked, a complimentary round for the table. And some food, of course. I'm sure they're... I assumed you guys had already eaten dinner. It's, you know, you've been there for a couple hours after dusk now. Hmm. Yeah, I would have... <clears throat> we would have been hungry from the farm day, so I would have eaten already. And, uh... Over dinner, or I guess after, after well, while we're sharing a drink, you say, "What'd you make of those two over there?" Oh, the the boisterous one was actually in the farm with us today. She was a she was a joker. <laughs> she was she was entertaining, lively. Didn't get a name, but uh, she was a uh, she was enthusiastic in the farm in the farm field. Uh, hmm. I don't know about cat lady. That I got nothing. To talk about yeah, she was. I mean, the whole point the whole today. point of being in a bar is to entertain you, is to enjoy yourself, and she was <laughs> just she was a wall. She seemed kind That's of grumpy. My thing. I'm the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I I would get the sense that those two uh, they definitely stick out. What if, what do you think the odds are that they're part of the the wild men? Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest, especially the one with the cat. Yeah. Um, and the big yeah. lady with the ball definitely seems to be the kind of person that likes to get into a scuffle, so it would not surprise me in the slightest. That's uh, what I'm I thinking. Do, I do have one thought now that I've been sitting here with uh, all these interesting characters walking around. Do you think there's anything you could, I don't know, sweet talk with Sveth to. Uh, he seems to know everybody, know everything around he is. Um, sweet talk him into maybe, I don't know. We're supposed to get approval. We're supposed to get acceptance. We're supposed to get, I don't know, somebody's supposed to like us with the Hoppins and whatever it was. That... Oh, you're talking about last night. Um... <clears throat> well, yeah, but so, right. If we, if he comes back tonight, we're good. If he doesn't, we're not so good. So I'm wondering if Yeah, was, I plan just to, to wait it out. I don't think well, we can affect it too much. And if we try to affect it too much, that might be off putting because if we're, you know, just plain vanilla mercenaries, why would we go through all the subterfuge to ensure our own success behind the scenes? Because, because we have a contract and we want to actually fulfill it. Yeah, but less is more. That's what I'm saying. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I pointed the stage. <laughs> <laughs> My that's, bardic that's... talents have nothing to do with uh, whatever kind of debt you want to call it with Sturgis. You know, I ain't. I mean, <clears throat> the two of you seem to be very good at money to bring attention to yourself. If you right? try too <laughs> hard, they're going to think something is up and they're going to wonder <clears throat> more about this anonymous, generous benefactor that I've very skillfully steered the conversation away from so far. Yeah, I'm guessing they already think something's up, but these aren't, I don't think these people are dummies, especially since someone. You've got to act like an idiot a little bit so they think you're harmless. So go with it. I look at Sparkles. <laughs> Back in fingers. I right, fingers. I trust you on this one. This is not thing. exact. This, this is thing. not my forte. <clears throat> um, no, I'm not going to. I would have too far away, and it would have been too obvious if I was trying to once over the Lynx lady to try to Sherlock Holmes here, <laughs> so I'm not going to say that I did that. All right, I you guess. Notice, um, say again? You notice I cut myself off a few hours ago, though. I plan to stay up until, you know, a few hours before dawn, so that if they do come back to us, this time it won't be a total surprise in the middle of the night. Here, why don't you two take the bed tonight, and I'll 
sit in the chair and take first watch, and we'll see what happens the rest of the night. As much as I would appreciate sleeping out of bed, I don't know if rubbing up against scales is going to be such a good thing for me. Or figure it out. <laughs> My tail can get in the way sometimes when I'm sleeping. You can you can have the bed sparkles. I know you. I don't, a rough I don't day. like I don't like being crept up on like that. That's not my uh, not my not my style. I don't, I don't I don't mind the board. I don't mind the floor, gentlemen. <clears throat> uh, yeah, and I'll go up to bed. Okay. Yep. Same here. <clears throat> Jin. Okay. Same. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as if on cue, uh, you guys go to bed. Um, Jen and and Wallace, I assume you actually go to sleep. Yes. As you're exhausted from. We would have been exhausted from the day. Yeah. I mean, Um, Jeff, like you said, you you slept late. You haven't been drinking. (laughs) You kept your wits about you. Um, So you do stay awake until what is roughly a couple hours before dawn. Hmm. Um. Oh, did you guys lock the door or no? Yeah, because it didn't matter last time. Okay, so round about two-ish, you hear somebody rattling a key, stick it in the lock, unlock the door, and the door opens. Hold on, is Jeff sitting in the is sitting in darkness? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, unless he's <clears throat> kept a light lit. I am human. I don't have dark vision, so I think I have a candle going. Oh, okay. Then instead of hearing the key, you hear a knock at the door. I go and open it quietly. Uh, as you open the door, you see the same gnome flanked on either a... flanked on either side by the two ladies. And I say in gnomish, "Well, Matt, my two friends are still asleep. Should we wake them for this?" Um, the big woman says in gnomish. Yes, everyone should wake <laughs> and bounds through the door. What? She approaches Wallace directly, grabs his hand from bed, and says, "Well met, strong friend." Strong <laughs> <laughs> met. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Good. Good, good, good evening, good morning. What What is happening? Hi? And, are we in, uh, are we in Rolfo, attack? Rolfo says... <laughs> well, oh, gentlemen, God. it looks like uh, you did a good job impressing my, uh, the Harpons. May I introduce to you the Harpon sisters? Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Mm. That's why I couldn't get her name. Your yet. reputation I, precedes you. Um, this year is... Uh, is f- I have their names. Hang on. Sorry. Is the is the links with them? Like is oh, the links yeah, the also links, like the links is always with that one. Uh, let me <laughs> change. Like, this. How big is this room? I'm, I'm imagining this is super said, crowded because I said we're it was twenty all... by twenty five earlier. Oh, all right. And so it's actually pretty decent sized. Yeah, okay. It's, 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 there's enough room for everybody. Room. It's a good size room. room. Yeah. It is a big. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's four by five squares. Okay, so there's enough room for everybody. Because I think. With the exception of the gnome, all of us are like six feet tall. <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's just a gathering of giant people. <sighs> oh, I didn't know she okay. Alright. This big one over here, may I introduce the lovely Farah Hapon? And her uh, not so talkative, but certainly handy with a bow sister, Callus. You can call it Catch Swift. I will discreetly hand five coins over to Sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> the um the group then takes a small amount of time. Well, we'll just roleplay it out. Farah says. It is good to meet fellow guides. <laughs> I look forward to accompanying you. Yes, um, clearly your your enthusiasm is only matched by a giant hammer of yours. Ah, yes, skull crusher. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she. I like her. She names things. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
when my, she my says, here has a, when uh, she a says skull crusher, Callus visibly rolls her eyes. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so Rolfo says, Now you know the wild men. Hmm. Interesting moniker. Well, when do we start? Everybody looks at you weird. Um, and uh, Callus, you have to and Callus says, "When the expedition arrives, of course." Oh, well, clearly. <laughs> For the record, when assumed... they all looked at him weird, I also looked at him weird. <laughs> Just to be like, you know, in what I've done up to this point in my life, very rarely does anything professional begin. At two-ish in the morning or whatever it is right now so i yeah figured... you, have to, you have to forgive my um clandestine nature of acquiring business partners we had to know for sure that you was legitimate you know um we've made quite what a name for ourselves protecting expeditions into the swamps but that's not the only kind of protection we offer and i can't say everyone in your lab is exactly our best pal no we, we get that we're look we're just some hired meatheads from the city that just trying to earn a buck the only way we know how. So we're just going to follow your lead. We got our own stuff. I think that's pretty settled by this point. Yeah, I mean, I assume you are well aware of the ex expedition schedule and uh, time frame as we are. Um, so we'll take them to the temple, make sure they're safe along the way, guide them through, hippity hoppity, this is the pretty temple, this is the pretty tomb, you know, the classic tour, and then uh, we'll make our way back to the sawtooth, collect our coin, and be on our merry way. And then bless the rocks, bless the trees, and we can all get fish naked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, curiosity, uh, what's the worst thing you've ever had to come across when wandering through the swamp? Well, as you should well know, the forest itself is pretty standard, but once you cross into the soft ground, there's all manner of beastie and baddie out there. Not to mention the bandits that have been roaming around. Jeez, Luis, I can't take it. The ones with the... Wait. We, we heard about them. No, we, we don't know too much about them ourselves, but we, we heard that they've been prowling the woods. Ah, it's been insane. You try to cross the road, you get bandits. You try to cross the woods, you get spiders. You get bears. You get all kinds of garbage. Yeah. I mean, well, not that I'm complaining. It keeps <clears throat> our pockets full. And Farah oh, goes, <laughs> numbers, am I right? So, so yeah, sure. If I'm gonna kill some spiders, I wouldn't mind having <clears throat> three more arms to three more sets of arms to do it with. Of course. Um. Well, that's what you got, good sir. Now that we're. Uh, on the same page here, so to speak. Um, do you mind if we go back to bed? Or should we expect... Oh, by all means, expedition? I'll let you get your sleep again. Um, we'll... Um, when the uh, when the expedition arrives, obviously they'll be seeking me out. Um, I'll take care of the negotiations, make sure everything is ship -shape and we're not being swindled, and then you can join us when we depart. I'll be in contact. Not at 2 in the morning. That would be much appreciated. Thank you kindly. You know, you clearly know where we sleep. Yeah, I do. Remember that. Whoa. And I will. I will. I mean, if I was sitting on the ground at this point, I would have stood up. But I'll. And I'll go around and like shake everybody's hand, assuming they will take it. Uh, and try to like, be. I don't know. I don't have any exposure with the lynx. So I'm like, do I? Do I pet it? Do I? What do I do? I don't. Yeah, actually, I do have animal hand. No, actually, I have animal handling, so I'll have some sense of like, is the cat friendly? Give it some dried meat, some jerky. He yeah. is he is well well trained and loyal, and doesn't do anything that Kales doesn't want him to do. All right, I'll scratch him under. I'll I mean I'll like scratch him behind the ears and try to be I don't know get along with the cat. <clears throat> yeah, he's he's pretty amicable. He already okay. is kind of familiar with you, Jeff. Mm hmm. Hmm. Give him, give him a little ear scratch and then before While all this is going on um, uh, Rolfo walks over to Jin and is just like looking you up and down I'm just like yo what why oh and that did pardon me your uh, tall scaliness I uh <laughs> I just I've never actually encountered a dragon born in the flesh 
Here it is. You want to touch it? Dead. I wasn't going to ask, but actually I kind of would. <laughs> and he grabs your hand and just starts rubbing. He's like, man, I thought you was also slimy. Ah, so I like nice. this guy. I like that. Check out the damn. Check out the damn. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> at first I was gonna like be nice, Spock. Oh no, we're good. No, right, never mind. Jim is trying to tip the scales again. He's he's also like, you're what six seven? Six eight. Yep. Six eight. Four. <laughs> you're six eight. eight. <laughs> Rolfo is three two. Because he's oh, I like this guy. <laughs> oh, that is funny. You're more oh, yeah, than I like this guy. Three four. Excuse me. He's three four. So I, I grab Rolfo. I said, like, yo, Rolfo, check this out. I pick him up. I put him on my shoulders. Oh, hey. All right. Nah, look, please. I left my feet on the ground if you don't mind. All right. All right. <laughs> but well, I mean, just as a point of like making conversation, like while I'm scratching the lynx's hide, I'll look over or scratching the lynx. I'll look over to Farrah and be like, and ask, uh, so what is it that we, that you do for entertainment around here when you're waiting for the, besides farm work, if there's any other ways to. Oh, he, she cuts you off by saying, why well, show up the farm hands? <laughs> fair point, madam. Fair point. I haven't been beaten yet, but you gave me a good try today. Hmm. <clears throat> and Kala says, "Forgive my sister. She's energetic." What? What's there to apologize for? Fair Come enough. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, as you can, as as I'm sure you are, madam, uh, the rest of us oh, are. I slide into bed before the other two realize it's <laughs> You steal the bed back? Yeah. <laughs> nice. While we're still talking? Yeah. <laughs> it's very weird. <laughs> it's like, well, all of you have a nice night. I'm sure, well, why are you in bed? <laughs> what, what, you, I guess you've been up. You stayed up the whole night? Is that what's happening? You know what? There was on the floor anyway. Um, see the Mars. <laughs> yes, uh, we'll, um, we'll catch up with you once the expedition arrives. There's plenty to keep yourself busy until that happens. Uh, yeah, so, call the night. The three yeah, I leave, guess. the cat leaves. I give Rolfo a high five on the way out. Uh, yeah, Rolfo... Rolfo leaps to give you a high five. <laughs> uh, when the cat walks past you, Jin, it like stops and sniffs you real hard and like rubs all up on your legs. <laughs> I give I give it a nice little scratch behind the ears. It's purring like and and even Kalas is like swift to me. <laughs> it kind of has to really call it to get it away from you. I'm I'm very very happy about this, but I try. To... <laughs> <laughs> so they finally leave the room and uh, close the door behind them and leave you alone. Yo, bro, do you see that cat? Cat likes me. The Rafa guy, the guy is pretty cool. I think we're uh, I think we're doing all right. You were uh, well done there. Fingers and this quite nicely. You know, little little music and cheer goes a long way. Mm, well, they're also not uh, wise to not uh... to talk about what. There's nothing to talk about. <laughs> <It's> just... <clears throat> Wait, do I? No, I have no idea what you said. What was it you said in Nomish, by the way? Ah, don't worry. It was just a common greeting amongst soon-to-be friends. Oh. Very good. Alright. Plomp. Times three. Times three. Times cool. Alright. Um, gentlemen, we're going to call that a night. Um, it has been okay. a fun session. Uh, that was fun. Well welcome, done. Welcome to, well done, the, Jim. Uh, welcome to the Sawtooth and the Wild Men. And the Wild Men. The Wild Men, yes. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, okay. With that, we will bid the internet adieu, and we can stay on and, and hash anything out if you have any questions or, or whatever. So goodbye, the internet. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Good night, all.